All right, shout out to everybody over here. Alpha Empress V, World and Thunder, Lolita Creekside in the building, Sean, Brian Prince, what up with it? Girly Girl, Ace Time in the building, Mo City, Yellow Bones, DJ Selm on the track, Omar, what up though? Shrugs in the building, Queen Ottawa, Jack, Keith Tolliver, Lucini. All right, uh, Chief Almighty in the building. The homie Bridge, Tomahawk Tunes, what up though? They falling in over here, man. They falling in. As we fall in, let's make sure we win on the likes as well. As we fall in, let's make sure we win on the likes. We still got 49 people over here in the chat. Um, If, if y'all look at the top, hit the link at the top right there in the chat. That's the link to the new live. We over here. We live over here. And we're about to get started. Big Unit Mobile in the building. What up, though? Shout out to Jack over there on the other channel. He dropped a, a super chat with them Jaguars in there. All right, y'all come through. Angel face in the building. Shot time. Shot time. We going to set this party out, right? Mm -mm. Shout out to Kanye, man. We it up. And it all fall down. Turn up one time. Key to B in the building. Key to B. Key to B. Are you a, are you a, a male or a female? Or what are your pronouns? Key to B. Key to B. Are you a male or a female? Or what are your pronouns? OG, I'm born here. Shout out to OG, I'm born here. He sent um. He sent the sister um, her birthday gift today, and I sent it right to her, OG. Um, okay, okay, Key to B, that's a hell of a name right there. I, I wanted to make sure before I tell the dude and say, hey, man, that's a hell of a name. Key to B, okay, she thinks she bad and bougie. Key to B, you got it on your license plate, huh? Yeah, she bossed up, Key to B. You got that on your license plate. Yep. Indian Ken in the building. Zilla Fifth in the building. Indian Gab. Press one. A ton. Yeah, what up, though? Indigenous King. Carla Faye. How you doing? All right. Insane Cell Mo 8 in the door. Darvis Blade Lock. All right. How many? We got 39 people still over here on the live. Hey, y'all, I'm about to shut it down, these 39 people. We do want y'all to come join us. So if you look at the top of the um, the chat, um, we have it pinned up at the top. We had a link pinned up at the top. Um, if y'all look at the top at, at the top of the uh, chat, it's highlighted. That's the link to where we at right now. And now we got 41 people. Hey, y'all, come on over to the other channel, bro, or... Click back on here and you'll find us. Sean say he dropped something in the um. Hey y'all, pull up. I'm I'm gone from over here. All right, so I'm back now. I can focus. It is the wildflower power. <laughs> The Malibu Barbie in the building. What up, though? It's a Vato Loco Forever, Holmes. That's Baby Joker, little sister, right there. That Baby Joker, little sister. Vato Loco Forever, it's see. Sister Ronda in the building, Copper Skin King. Hey, Copper Skin King, you know, I went through the joints the other day. You know, they did have you in that block. I said, go a Jaguar. This must be fake. Somebody then somebody then locked him up. Yeah, we ain't got no more sure badges around here, man. You know, it ain't even about that at the end of the day, bro. I just feel like, you know, we in a, a reset, bro. And um we need to be, you know, aware, man, of uh, you know, this culture that we building. And so, uh, yeah, it's all good. All right, so we're going to jump straight into it, you did. 
Um, so I got a chance to build with some brothers the other day, and I came in, and you know what? They actually, after I was done, they said, you know what? They 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 want to help and join us in in Mexico. So I'm recruiting, man. I'm on my recruit. I'm trying to get a lot of us down there in Mexico, man. We can make history. So, uh, hey, y'all, make sure y'all jump on the like button, too. Hold on. Let me get over here on my iMac to the screen. So, it's a lot of people this Black European conversation. So, they're going to give me a chance to to uh, catch some. What's up with it, Red Hawk Maria? Turn it one time for the one time. So, let me take this down. So just going through some of my old um let me see which one I want to do. So if if a lot, a lot of y'all so he go I, I I he go a curriculum that I created on the 13 colony. This was a course. Now I never dropped this course. As you see, it's old. It even had an old logo on it. So here's the. Uh, let me let me let me pull in. So this was the course. Now I still can come teach it, but at that time I had felt like I was kind of wearing it down. So lesson one, uh, whitewashing of history. Lesson two, we're gonna go into the father of Scotland. Three, you had an elector of Saxony. Joan Philip and a lot of people and, and you're going to hear a guy tell me over here in his other argument that you don't know European history and I'm like brother I you know if we talking about black European that's me so we'll see go through the the royal lines of Europe we'll see um, the colon the 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 migrations over to americas we're gonna go through the jacobites look we got lesson 26 they go to jacobites i hear a lot of y'all talk about them we got william william and mary we have queen Anne, troy king philip the second of spain uh in this course so um i mean i never i never did this course so y'all i guess i asked y'all we did the making of the um the the um the the Cherokee Nation, we did that course, which is an excellent course. So yeah, man, here goes some of the topics that we'll cover in lesson eight. Let's say so you got the Welsh ancestor of the Tudor dynasty. Who was the first king? Um, how was the family of the first Tudor king? Uh, we'll go through things like that in the 13th, 15th centuries. Family descended from who were among the most powerful lords in Northern Wales. So we'll connect the bloodlines. That's something that I, you know, y'all know I'm real big on. So, uh, yeah, man, um, Queen Elizabeth, Legend 14, like Charles the first, 17, Charles the second, the British colonies. How about that one, 16, 19? And so, yeah, just, just, I don't want to get too much up. Divine Ice is in the building. What up, though? Yeah, you come around. I get the one on the light sage. Matter of fact, what my sage and paleo sense with? Hold on. Divine Ice come in. Make you want to just get it tuned. Hold on. Let me light my paleo Santos. One of the most good energy motherfuckers. Let me light my. Get some positive vibes and good vibration. Yeah. That's the positive vibe that we created. Yeah. Yeah, I get on my island, boy. I get on my air walking on you niggas ass. Yeah, I get real maroonish on you niggas ass up in here, man. Say, man. Yeah, man. Let me light. I lit the candle, the Palo and Santo Sage candle. And then I'm lighting the real Palo Santo. Shout out to she horse that. I still got mine. She gave me a big bag. Yeah, they cheated for me and gave me a whole lot of Palo Santo sticks. And I got the good. Woo. And then that's how we do that. Shout out to the divine. And I got my feather right here on the side of me. Got me feeling real spirit child. All right. So that's some of the, you know. So y'all let me know, man, if y'all ever want to do the 13 colony quiz. I still have it. I never brought it out and dropped it. 
Shout out to the OG, man. Triple OG. OG done a grand. What up, though? Yeah, but um, uh, so I know the topic kind of hot, and you know, they let we're gonna go through there. They let me give them a little rope off or whatever the other day. Jack in the building. Hold on, somebody show some love. You know what? I I'm actually still over there hanging out in the other one. Hey y'all, make sure we're on the like button, make sure we share the video out. Oh, my bad. I thought it was a damn super chat in there. I wonder why I don't see them. Wonder why it ain't showing up over here. All right, let me see something. Well, I can't even do it from there. Shout out to the homie Indian Ken. He say salute, like, and share. Man, it ain't even showing on my end over here. But it's all look. Okay, there you go. Key to B, where you from? Where you from in the world? Because right now, what we doing? Oh, uh, she said your Zoom pay per view was fire. You came through there. Appreciate you for pulling up. So, all right, this is what I'm doing. Um, I didn't get to record it, man. I had too much space on my um, too much space on my computer. So I have to download all of that off. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is we're gonna run it back because I have to record it. So people can come through. Of course, the VIP members, they come through, sit down, and they can come in and watch it. The people that have paid, this is what I'm gonna do. So people who saw it last time, you will only have I mean gonna have to try that come see, but gonna guess why I say gonna get the platinum, but we are going to just pay half to get in. If you paid already, you got a receipt from last time, then you just pay half to get in. And so that's that's what we'll do. So, and people that have a membership already or something, say you didn't come and it was 25 at the door. Say you got any type of membership, bronze, silver, whatever, gold, whatever, then you just pay uh $10 to get in. So we're going to do it like that tomorrow. So, uh, but those who haven't seen it already, yeah, I got to pay regular price. You know, a lot of, you know, a lot of people, nigga be sending the links out and be looking out for you niggas. Uh, man, I know a few niggas didn't have about, uh, yeah, man, damn to get a link every time. Y'all niggas put $5, $10 in the super chat. That's how we keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I might stop through just randomly. Somebody might be supporting or whatever, then I come through and just be like, boom, come through. You with me tonight. You with me tonight. But that's how we keep it going, though. Some niggas, nigga, looking out for them, and I just don't see you. Hey, man, put five dollars, ten dollars in the super chat. Tell everybody, hey, what's up, BCU or something. And that's how we just keep it, keep the, you know, the, the energy going. But oh, uh, that's how we gonna do that, though. Uh, so we will be recording tomorrow. I'm gonna have a few new slides in there because there's a couple points I want to sit down on. One of those points, I say this right. One of those points is dealing with, we went through that Maroon connection, right? We set up Jamaica and Nova Scotia, right? And so I, I need to sit down on that because I, I think I can make that a little clearer. It's, there's a, a point point that I want to point out to that. So we'll, we'll, uh, it'll be a few new slides in there. And East Coast, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it was it, We got out of there pretty late. It was like 11 for me, so. My bad. I'm, I love y'all, goddamn. <laughs> All right, so these are the courses, bro. We got we had real courses over here. This is what we do. So if y'all want that thirteen colony or uh, class, and uh, we'll go through the course. You know what I'm saying? I'll work easy work. That's a pretty big course, so that probably take us uh. Let me let me pull this up. Get out of there. Let me pull something mm -hmm. else up. Now back in the game, I did a lecture on. I'm gonna show y'all my first one. Here you go. Thirteen colonies, death to black country. It's 2020. I was talking popping big, popping mm -hmm. big shit. So. 
We went through that. The um, now watch this here. I'm gonna tell y'all something, bro. I did this lecture, right? And let's come here. Right here, Joe Hunt Phillip, man. This is a very, very rare coin. You see it at the front right there? It's rare. 1625. And man, one of the, I met a lot of people doing this. One of my favorite people that I ever met doing it, bro. They sent this to me. Every time I go to Atlanta, I can't, I think about this person. I can't, you know, that energy, just everything, the whole field. In a real way, man. Uh, shout out to Nick, man. Oh, uh, but they sent me this. I'm gonna make a museum, man, of all the little stuff that y'all sent me, man. I got a few things, man. Remember one time y'all had sent the painting of me, painted like an Indian chief king type of, and I, I, I had it upstairs. So, yeah, man, I'm gonna have a whole little museum of things. That people didn't send me, but by far this was one of my first ones. Um, this coin right here, and y'all see the price tag on there too, huh? Five hundred dollar coin. Now nah, for real, but yeah, um, this was the first one that I did. We went on to make more. See, we went down and broke down the, the bloodlines. We ain't playing. We went down and broke down the bloodline. So we got work. We got that work. That's 20. That's 2020 slides. Shout out to OG Donna Grant. Appreciate that love. Shout out to the homie Jack. George Harris said, run it. Oh, y'all want that black European history? We can get it. You know, we tying it in. Hold on. Let me pull this legs up. Hold on. We done did so many on them. So watch this here. We'll pull this one up. Then I'm going to run the joint the other night. Bullets got in them was in there. Uh, shout out to the homie Lou. Loot, loot and been to the pyramids in Egypt and all of that. He's he said, I'm coming with y'all type cat to, to Mexico. <laughs> I say, bet, bet it. So yeah, we um uh, I mean we go through here. Brother was talking the other day about um George Washington, whether he was black or not. Oh no, nah, that went I'm tripping that one over here. Matter of fact, that's gonna be the conversation in the bill. So I'll let y'all hit it, but we got to work on that. We got, we had work on that. So let me, let me get out of here and go ahead on and get the video started. Europeans, all that, like as though that like, those, def race. those definitely already existed. Like those definitely were clear delineated. And they've also like Jay Knock, what up though? Vito in the building. Oh, uh, kind Sean in the building. What's up with the Gulf Coast, my nigga? Gulf Coast in the building, man. Mississippi fine, it, man. The air, the air, oh, oh, the, oh, the air, oh, oh, right? Oh, all right, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Lou, Lou, can I get the mic on that? Right, hold on, wait, wait. I want some example of 2000, uh, whether it's a small percentage of if it's new fat boy fitness, man. My LDBC brother, what up, though? New, hey, man, fat boy say coming down, to, uh, uh, to, to Galveston, man. He gonna try to come down there, man. Get the LDBC fam in there, uh, um. And if y'all want some tips and personal training tips and all that, weight loss journey and all that, man, y'all go check out my boy. Go follow me at his Instagram, man, New Fat Boy Fitness. And uh, get some motivation, man. Get some workout tips, man. Weight loss. Go go over there and see uh, the, the, the change and the dedication that my brother put into, you know, the grind in his mind. You feel me? Now he on top with the shine, man. Indianapolis in the building. Uh, go follow him, man. Real, real motivational. 
Oh, uh, brother, right there, powerful brother, ripping that shock tie in the building. You dig big old LDBC shit. I, I just want to see some type of similarities between uh, the racial classifications and uh, like uh, you know the Western world and in Europe during uh, the Dark Ages. So can somebody? Cleopatra. Cleopatra. <laughs> can I say this? Because we're gonna be technical, right? Because he because he made he made fallacies and he made some falsehood statements, right? And I, I and and when it comes to the dark ages and it comes to that era of when the Moors went to Europe, okay, when we talk about the Arabs, the original Arab was a melanated man, okay. The the Arabs that you see in the Middle East. All mixed Arabs, which are mulattoes, which you call the mulatto sand niggas, whatever you want to call. They got. Hey, this bullet's got it right there. If y'all know, bullet's got it. <laughs> bullet's got it. Wow, that's all I say. Bullet's got it. Wow, he been the same way since I met him. So, oh, uh, I remember when I hopped on. Um, I went to Black YouTube, the third, the very first channel. I found was Bullets Gotti. And I went in there. He had a stage full of people. It was late night. And they was in there banging. And uh, I came up there. He was like, what's up? You know who I am? <laughs> he was like, last time I see, say, man, I seen you about a year ago, man. You got on my ass. I'm like, nah, I don't remember you. And then, okay, so we used to hang on. It was these UK channels. They used to run for like three hours. And I, I met him over there. You feel me? I used to be over there with them UK people. They took me over to shout out to them, man. Um, I forgot the sister name. It was a dude hanging around a boxing name, one of the ones from London. You feel me? He took me over there and um uh, introduced me to them. But yeah, but the guy was like, Yeah, you got down on me, tried to embarrass me in front of <laughs> like you must was fucking with me. But nah, bullet but got it always look, you know, every time you see me, I always you know, utmost respect. So shout out to uh Bully Gotti, man. You know a lot of people don't like him, he staying some shit. But uh man, he fuck with Top Cat though. Well not the original Arabs. Okay. When you talk about when the Moors went into Europe, Hannibal led all the Moors into Europe. And if you go back and you look at Europe, these was uncivilized people that were doing uncivilized things like having sex with each other, feasting off of each other, walking on all fours. They wasn't even cleaning themselves. They were still in the caves. When the Moors came there and cleaned up Europe, okay, yes, they you they had the white women as concubines. That is true. That is that is absolutely true. This is why you have the whole Europe was predominantly mixed. Now let me state this here. Gotti a Moor. He's standing on, he out of New York. He riding here Moor. And so that's why he going into the spiel. He defending the Moorish paradigm from this other brother who says he's a European scholar. So we're gonna see, we're gonna get him next. Okay, predominantly mixed. If you go into England, they call the the the, the melanated people. Black Britons. That's when you talk about Cheddar Man. You go into Ireland. You go into all these places. The Moors was in. So, Cool Joe, if it wasn't, then what was it? What's your answer, Cool Joe? Since you know everything, since you be running around here like you know everything, uh, if that's not true, then what's the right answer, Cool Joe? Because remember, you smart. You the black European out of Virginia. You know so you know so damn much, huh? What she told him on dead presidents. Yeah, cause you you the big bad marine, huh? Yeah. You the big bad marine, huh? Practically all over the world, actually. From America to Europe to Asia. These was explorers, travelers, and merchants. Okay, so when y'all talk about the moors, let's talk. <laughs> Cujo say, <laughs> Cujo say he a historian. Since when? Hey, listen to me, family. Speaking of moors, it's this moors brother, and 
I don't know his his channel popped up on my screen. He had a many uh subs, so I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play his video, and for the people out the Moorish paradigm or whatever, y'all can go over there and check him out. You did, but he was on there popping big, big noise. He say the Aboriginals are some lames. They owe reparations to the Moors, and he was yeah. Y'all heard what I said. This brother say that the aboriginals are lames and that they owe re reparation to the Moors. I'm going to play his video. Old school gangster, man. Old school. You can tell he's back there thugging. He probably had them bricks. He like he did 25 to life in the joint. Yeah, big old Moor. Oh, I don't know if he's a country, but I don't know where he's from. Oh, but yeah, he said he won't. All, I say, I, I hit it up. I say, hey, man, let me get an interview, big homie. He got the popping it down no, for real, bro. Hold on, I'm gonna go find it. Talk the correct history of the moors. Let's not come with all the, the falsehoods or the facts. What happened in the 1400s because the moors had domination after Christ that was AC, they, they dominated Europe until AC going into the 1400s. When you go back into the 1400s. And what happened in, during that time, during the crusade, basically the Catholic Church, okay, because the Catholic Church was really involved in that, okay, involved in the murders and the slaughters of the Moorish people, okay, with Africans that came over that basically were mercenaries. All right, hold on, got it, hold on, got it. I'm, I'm going to come back to you and let you... Let you get your boys off. But let me show them this dude right here. And I told the big homie, I said, hey, man, come pull up on me, bro. He was like, man, I don't, I don't really, I'm new to, like, you know, speaking online or whatever. So the brother's name is Sheik. And um, that's his channel. So um, y'all can go check him out. But if y'all know him, I don't know him. But if y'all know him, you know, let me know if y'all heard of him or anything. But if you see at the top, the title is Original Confederate, which that conversation is going to come up in the conversation that me, God, and them, and Luton them was having, right? And whoever those other brothers' name, I apologize. I, I didn't get y'all name. But um, we'll get back to that in a few seconds because this is this pretty short. So, yeah, I, I it just popped up on my screen, and I said, man... He said that he said Aboriginal lames owe the Moors taxes. I said, oh, so I said, maybe he's talking about the Native Americans. I went on there now. Nah, he's talking about the Aboriginal community. I said, oh man, come on, I said, but then he went in and you know, everybody, y'all know my rule. The game is the game. You say what they want to say, bro. Uh, and so that's all that's the freedom of speech. But let's walk. Peace. Long. Hey, look at Dave. Y'all know Dave with a reparationist. Dave here reparations. He say Dave here reparations. His 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 went up. Y'all know Dave out there with a picket. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Shake a Molly out of Massey Hill. I'm gonna let y'all live. Shake a Molly out of Molly Hill. Y'all go tap in with him. Somebody said. Terry said, hey, is it, why you say that, Terry? Break it down. Deep, deep, deep down. Alabama Arabian country. <laughs> no justice. No. <laughs> Arabian section. Arabian district. Always standing in front of a uh, historic Confederate statue. Um, you know, you know you're know, going to find these all over the South. You know. Um, just saluting to the saluting to the real ones, saluting to the riders, saluting to the old republic, because we all know that the Confederacy was the old republic, and the Confederacy was nationwide. It was it was based in the South mainly, after a lot of disagreements around the time of the 1850s. Uh, but we know that the Confederacy was really just representing the old republic, the conservatives, the conservative echelon of what America, you know, the uh, original American population. So, want to salute to that. Uh, now it's it's real strange that all of a sudden throughout throughout America, listen, listen, y'all. They're on a crusade to tear these historic statues down. 
Um, and they act, they act like they've come to some type of moral understanding. It make no sense. But they renamed Fort Lee. So they, now they want to tear him down. <laughs> Our phenotype. Hold on, let me go up. I mean, so it's, when it's, he started I mean, talking about the Aboriginals, so basically he gonna get on Aboriginals and Indians too. Um, but that's not really what I wanted to build with the brother on. I just I wanted to you know because he said he come back from the old school game. So uh, to him to see like he said it came out of nowhere to him. So I love to build with the brother you know to get his perspective and you know some um insight on what what was going on back then you know um but do some aboriginals owe the moors reparations i'd love to get some lights and maybe aboriginal brothers or even like an a1 on the panel you know to build with him to, to see um uh, you know what i mean like from that old world that old paradigm to the evolution of um you know what i'm saying to what a game is today the common sense will tell you that we lost the war. So we started, they, they were running up in, uh, trying to get land, and whoever didn't want to give up the land and get taxed to death, they were just running up on you. What dog is it? I seen dogs in here earlier. Dogs, it goes, is that true, dogs? I'm going to give you a chance that you go check him out. But uh, he sounded like dogs. He said somebody kicked over the land and came in and robbed and then took it. You know, it, it, you had to shoot it out. It is what it is. That's the wild, wild west way. But, you know, as America, as, as real Americans, original Americans, that's fine with us, man. We we ain't got no problem gunslinging and doing it and doing what we got to do because we wild like that. You know what I mean? So it's not, it's never nothing. All that fake Jim Crow nonsense. Of, we were so scared and blase, blase. Let me tell you something, man. War, war. And hey, y'all, let's get the likes up. Let's get the likes up. We missing like forty likes. We missing thirty likes, family. Let's get the likes up. We missing thirty likes. Let's get the likes up. Battle and conflict and all that. That's that's an American thing, man. We ain't never laid down. It's always been it's always been bullet for bullet with us. We've always been well armed, even though everybody ran down and thought that they could handle us. We still here, so don't get it messed up. You know I told you this nigga here, oh, uh, kingpin gang banger from the from the eighties, nigga, cocaine cocaine cowboy here. He all he talking about is pit. Pistols and bullets and shots and listen to them. Yeah. And then I wanted to salute to the uh, the mighty mighty Chica saw the Chica saw. You know, a lot of the uh, so called what they call the Confederate battle flag and everything. A lot of that they don't they don't like to admit that that originates from the kind of the Chica saw demonstration. Uh, the, the rebel Chica saw the Tasalagi. You know, they call them Cherokee, but the real name is Tasalagi. If you really want to be real, uh, you know, because they were Muslims, so that's Tasalagi. You know, the uh, the so-called Shikasaw, they were the ones who, you know, they wasn't really allowed, they wasn't really with allowing uh, settlement past the proclamation line of 1763 as was agreed with, with, uh, you know, uh, King George III, you know, after the so-called United States was formed. They wasn't really with all that. So they became rebels and they held held it down for a long time up in North Georgia, Tennessee, you know, and they, and let me tell you, the Shikasaw, it's not no, you know, you, it's not the Hollywood version. I'm not the Shikasaw, the Chickamauga, the Shikamaga, these, these rebels. These yeah, I ain't want you to, I, I was going to correct him on it. He it, is trying to say the Chickamaugas. Uh, that's who he, that's who he meant when he was saying Chickasaw. He was really trying to say the Chickamaugas. These Muslims, if you was, if one was to just take a time machine and appear before you today, they would look just like yours true. That's the Shikasaw. <laughs> so when you go to Tennessee, <laughs> In that area, Dave, you a mark for that day <laughs> in North Georgia and all that. You no, know, and you see like places like Lake Chickasaw and all that. Lake, I mean, Lake Chickamauga. Hey, let's get 25 more likes, family. Let's get 25 more likes. You need to think about a brother like yours, too. That's who they were. They were the rebel monsters, you know what I mean? The fighting breaks. So don't get it messed up. But anyway, I just wanted to, just wanted to salute to the Confederates. You know, we want to preserve, we want to preserve the demonstration as long as we can. Uh, this is the historic uh, Monroe County Courthouse. Uh, you know, they have an official history on this building. You see the elaborate, the elaborate um, noble architecture, as, as always, a very Southern thing, you know, an American thing, of course. But, uh, you know, they have an official history of this, but you have to take a lot of it. They have an official, an official history of, you know, how and when this building was so-called 
are constructed and everything, but you got to take a lot of that with a grain of salt because we already know that there's, you know, there was a mass cover up of a prior civilization coming after 1865, and that's what Reconstruction was all about: is eugenics and rewriting history and trying to get again the phenotype like yours truly out, you know, out of the historic, out of the history books. You know what I'm saying? Because of course, history is always so-called written by the winners. So you know, we don't know when this was built, but regardless of when it's built. Uh, when it was built, when it was constructed, which personally, I'm pretty sure was constructed prior to 1865. Um, um, we know if we see architecture like this, we know that Mississippian carpenters, bricklayers, and master masons were able to, uh, you know, get construct these type of put these type of structures together. You know, that's just it's in our blood. We elaborate like that. You know, and you ain't got to go. <laughs> you know. If you want to see how the, the the corporate culture operates, just go look at your just go visit your local Walmart. A big square cube, you know what I mean? All all of the new crazy stuff, you know. Again, salute to coming into knowledge itself, okay, Indian here you go. and all this here you realizing. Go. Uh, that, you know, I know we're all on YouTube and all on social media, and they, you know, but that's you know it is what it is. All right, so check it out, y'all. He finna now he finna say the aboriginals and the Indians some lames. Big homie, if you're listening, that ain't why I want to interview you. You know, I really want to top game, top history with you, man. Introduce you to the people, you feel me? Let you get your build out, you feel me? Maybe uh bring some other brothers on from the paradigm and maybe can give you a different understanding, you know, before you just call people in the game lames or whatever you know everybody entitled everybody you got tough skin you gonna need tough skin to do this and let me say this while i'm on that point that's why i'm not okay <clears throat> and if it was up to me for a lot of women to go on these platforms you feel me and represent us because if we look back just on the history of women going on side platform on side another platform it it, it ended up bad for them and they don't care if, if it's a female. They're going to send some grown men in there to talk to you. And so that's why I'm not for women going because this is a, a, a tough environment to be in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, let's say, like, you know, when the, when the females went over, you know, you're going to have to fight people not there just to, you know what I'm saying? They trying to make a fool of you and everything and discredit where, you know, your position is. So, like, let's let's use Mama Chief. I'm glad Mama Chief got on the other day and showed her records. But to be honest, I think that was all she should have said. I will, um... Nah, we shouldn't have elders or women out there fighting. There's too many dudes running around here, big, strong men and men with information. They need to be on the battlefield when it's time to debate. We don't need no women out here trying to debate no grown men, especially no elders, and they get cursed out or disrespected because I think about it like this. What if my grandma was sitting up there? And most of the women that are speakers in the community – you know, 50 years old and older in a lot of cases. You feel me? So even with my little Hebrew homegirl, uh, not the player, I think that's how you say her name. <laughs> um, when she went on there, you know, they was laughing, saying that your boy made her cry and all of that. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is I don't think that's a place for women. I think men are the ones that made for battle and you send them out there in battle. So, you know what I'm saying? No situations. Cause you got to understand something like this set our walls. It set out disconnects from the community. So now nah, you have to have representatives who are, you know, that's what they're on the board for. That's what they do well. And so, yeah, I just, you know, for as like that, we, you know, having people in a position, you know, someone's grandmother debating, I just don't see that. Or even, you know, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's cool. But that's just me, and that's my opinion. But let's work. But I just want to take this little drop to uh, salute some of the master teachers out there. You know, you know, in, in recent years, you've had, you've had these. Uh, I call them that boy Marcus Smith. Say he in the gym getting them reps in, ladies. I nigga want to let everybody know he got his shirt off. Man, I don't know who did Marcus. Man, he all in the chat. 
letting them know. Oh, uh, he trying to get a beach body for June 17th. <laughs> he working on the beach body for June 17th. They know we're gonna be out there in Galveston, Texas on the beach, man, for Juneteenth. And Keith's in the gym trying to uh in there trying to let it, all the ladies in the chat know he got his shirt off in the gym right now, sweating. I'm young punk. Topless. But you've had these people uh, come out of nowhere all on YouTube and all on social media. And they, you know, again, it's great to, it's great to see uh, Asiatics and Mississippian people uh, coming into knowledge of self and realizing uh, that, you know, their native land is the land under their feet. That's all gravy. But a lot of these guys, for whatever reason, you know, they've, they've created movements called like the Aboriginal Movement, the so-called American Black Indian Movement and all this and all this uh, crazy stuff, you know, again, salute to coming into knowledge itself and realizing, you know, your land is underneath your feet and not in some foreign place. Like we were all kind of taught in, the, again, the Marxist socialist school curriculums. Shout out to Ebenezer. She said we are supposed to handle the spiritual warfare. That's a fact. That's the position that the matriarch always took. You know what I mean? And so uh, now everybody, everyone has a role to play on the board. When it comes down to that, I don't feel like there's no environment that, you know, we should put women in. You know what I'm saying? Even Shane, that's my baby right there. I always going to be my baby. That's my, that was my protege. She, I tried to teach her everything I knew. She was like a little female top cat with the bars. You know, and, you know, she went into that environment and, you know, that didn't end. So I just learned from my mistakes and learned from the lessons in life. And I just, you know, I don't think that's a position we need to put our women in. Let them be great around here and handle the things that the matriarch had. You know, I, I always wanted a female council. I tell you, when I built up the colony on Clubhouse, first thing I did, I ain't going to get no soldiers to fight. Because I was already equipped and used to fighting debate groups and fighting communities and fighting uh, um, panels and multiple people. So I wasn't worried about that part. And I knew the information was staying. I went and I, I, Yashika, shout out to Yashika. I'll never forget her. I bumped into her and, and then Shan came and we built the matriarch around me. You know what I'm saying? That colony, that's what formed that colony. So uh, I'm all for the matriarch especially there for you know but back then they had to fight and so these are things that i i learned you know what i'm saying just from being here on the in the game you know our women shouldn't be out there fighting if they're gonna have a voice in the community i think it should be in the community the spiritual work all these other things you know what i mean whether it be gardening would it be any any um you know strengths or any of their talents you know, uh, now nah, we have to protect the uh, the matriarch. You feel me? Because that's how we uh, make it to the next generation. That's how we reproduce. You feel me? That's our portal. So uh, now a, a lot of things have to get in order. You feel me? But we 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 growing, man. You dig? And so BCU, we have to be an example of it. You know what I'm saying? On our end, for the people that's watching us, and so. You know what I'm saying? Because there's plenty of lanes and plenty of people on the board, but um here I, I just asked us to be conscious, you know what I mean? And um and for others out there in the American paradigm, let's try to, you know, pay attention to that, you know, and, and, and try to protect our women. And the women, you know, I know a lot of them still wanna jump out there and have a voice, but you know, they have to understand that uh you know, we have to go with the best decision that'll bring the best outcome for the community. I land there. Let's walk. Um, but let me tell you something. I've been, I've had knowledge of self for a minute. I've been in the con so called conscious community since about 2007, man. And let me tell you something. I'm old enough to, I'm, I've been, I've been down in the game long enough to remember. Around that time, 2007, 2008, everybody, all the conscious and the master teachers were on a demonstration of pan-Africanism. They were on a demonstration of kind of Kemet, more than more the Egyptian African demonstration, which like I say, there's nothing wrong with that. That, that all of the, all of these types of awakenings and understandings, they have their place in time to, to put people on the path. There's nothing wrong with that. 
but I'm I'm been around long enough to remember and recall that at that time, the only con- the only group in the conscious community that was telling Asiatics, Mississippian people, so-called people they were labeled so-called African Americans or so-called black, which is a misnomer and so just always was some goofball stuff. I don't even know why people accepted those things those designations because they don't make no sense but um the only group back in back in that time that was telling asiatics from america that they were indigenous to america was the moors literally it was the washita moors and it was the moorish americans oh sure you 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 playing that he got a shank on him right now now he got a shank on him right now man (laughs) <laughs> were the only ones pushing that demonstration back then. So you got so any of you young punks, any of you young punks that got on social media in the last few years and spoke and talked down on the Moors and talked down on Noble Drew Ali and all this, man, you really need hands and feet put on you, first of all. But but you need to yeah, see, I told you drugs, he ain't playing. Nah, he said you in violation, man. He trying to, yeah, nah. There'll be no disrespect on the Moors. Yeah, I said, oh, I like this nigga right here, man. He gonna have to come. Sit down on the couch, man, and get on the podcast. He say, I'm with it. I'm waiting on him to get back at me, though. Uh, yeah, we definitely going to get him in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and my, my sister, uh, Nephi, uh, Nephi, Nephi Folly, Nephi Holly, I can't think of However you say it, Nephi Thiley. I think that's how I say it. I'm sorry, sis. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on the show, too. So I'm going to hit up, man, and we'll see if we can make that happen sometime next week. And I, I I hope I can get both of them on that week. Just kill yourself. You know what I mean? And, you know, you di- you dishonoring your ancestors. And that's why a lot of y'all carry these generational curses. Because this this what a lot of our people in general carry these generational curses. Because you don't know how to honor your ancestors. And y'all want to disrespect the people that came before you. They were ten toes down. They laid the platform and laid the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? And you wonder why you stay dealing with nonsense and, be, and, and stay with curses. So... And, and you know they don't need to call none of y'all names. Y'all know who y'all are. You know what I mean? It is. Oh, he got a name list. Nah, you gotta come on the show, big homie. I ain't know you had a list. I ain't know you if you like knew exactly who you talking about. Or you just said, you know, talking to Texas. You know, not just Texas talking to Americans. Is in there whoever you know is in there catch it. But now nah, he said he got a list, a hit list. So uh, I'll say this to that though, man. For as the Aboriginal community or the Black Indian American Indian community, as he uh, termed it, um, do, you know, he said they owe reparations to the Moors. And then now I, I think it is a point that people are going to have to be honest that the Moors did have. And but I'll say this for me, man. Um, I remember when I came in, bro. I didn't feel like I was hearing Indian information. And trust me, that ain't no disrespect because I ended up growing to respect, you know, everybody that was on the board, that's on the board, that's pushing this American line. But I didn't feel like, because the way I got it, and so, like, I was listening, y'all listen to the tapes of my me and my aunt talk. I didn't get it through that. I got mine through, like, bloodline, you know, and so my the way that i was teaching or i approached the game it was from the the point of view of where i got it from from my matriarch and so when i came that's why i was just trying to tell my story talk about texas the south the five civilized tribes and then i said damn well everybody needs it we need all we need some here we need some paint over there and so that's what made me go more into it so i heard chris harris and psych psych boy you another one bro y'all be tripping me out with this site psycho patheus man psych them him and chris sitting there having a whole conversation about me all the play it and let y'all hear it. bro they went on for like 30 minutes just talking about me you know he used to be a boxing channel yeah i remember that he need to go back to boxing that's what chris said he need to go back to boxing this ain't working out for him yeah he was yeah they said they had a whole conversation about me um, for about 30 minutes, bro, going in and just saying all type of just regular sit down on the porch, smoke a blunt, and just talk about time cat for about like 30 minutes. All the play for y'all to let y'all hear these dudes, man. It's ridiculous. But um, 
but sight when I be around you, bro, you be you know cool as a butterfly, man. I don't, yeah, that, you see, and that's why I just be maxing y'all niggas out, bro. I don't even, cause I be like, all right, yeah, all right, but when I'm gone, it be like if that dude, I don't like him, but it's all good. Um, there's a big, there's a big. Yeah, no, I, I just you know, so I, I feel like. Yeah, I definitely gotta get this brother on, you know, because maybe there's somewhere he, you know, he don't understand, or maybe he haven't talked to an Indian or Aboriginal, and so maybe we can find understanding. Maybe it take for us to have conversations, you know what I'm saying, to find understanding. We can still walk away and agree to disagree. You did, but that's how bosses do it. That's how uh, chiefs and uh, you know. Or ambassadors, or you know, you know, man time, or just on human time. That's how it's supposed to be done the correct way. So we'll see what's up. I'm gonna let him finish this, and then we'll get into the bill with bullets got in them and and everybody over there building on the moors. Fat leader of the, of the squad who's really like to run his mouth about the moors. Hey, we missing twenty likes though. We missing twenty likes. Let's get that twenty likes up. Yeah, y'all follow me on legendary typecast underscore 22 on Instagram. Legendary typecast underscore 22 on Instagram. Go follow me over there. Start going live over there. And all that. No need to call your name. You know who you are, bro. But let me tell you something. And that's why we're about to call out the real masters. What's up with it, A1? A1, what you, um, do you know? Hold on, let me let me put his name. I, I can't pronounce it. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Shikamuga. I don't want to fuck his name up, but I don't know how long you've been in here. I just scrolled up and seen your name right there. I don't know how long you've been in here, but the brother have um. Well, he really can't say we some motherfucking lanes. I'm just gonna keep it real. He on straight gangster time, though. He on some put time. He got one in the khaki dicky suit. I mean, in the, yeah, in the khaki dicky suit with a pistol. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, he on some he on some gangster old school step of time. But he said we some lanes, and um, uh, I told him I asked him for an interview. He said he got me. So, and I and a one, I want you to come through and be with him. You know, we ain't going to be on no, but maybe we can find some understanding because he he coming from a paradigm from like 2005, 04 back then, I think he say. He, 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 he coming from the old school, 04, 06. He don't remember none of this. So let's I'm, I'm going to bring it back just in case you ain't here. And I'll drop the link if you ain't got, if, if you can come up and I'd love to hear your spiel on that. That's just, it's in our blood. We elaborate like that, you know. You ain't got to go, you know, if you want to see how the, the, the corporate culture operates, just go look at your, just go visit your local Walmart, a big square cube, you know what I mean? All, all of the newer, all the newer corporate, all the suburban type of cookie cut. This right here, this magnificent type of uh, architecture, this is what we Man, talking about the architecture, A1. And, and the, again, the fact that they're not, they blacklisted the master it is what it is. But it, you know, nothing like this gets built anymore. So anyway, but that's you know, it is what it is. But I just want to take this little drop to uh, salute some of the master teachers out there. You know, you know, in, in recent years, you've had, you've had these. Uh, I call them young punks, but you've had <laughs> uh, come out of nowhere, all on YouTube and all on social media. And they, you know, again, it's great. To, it's great to see uh, Asiatics and Mississippian people uh, coming into knowledge of self and realizing. You know, their native land is the land under their feet. That's all gravy. But a lot of these guys, for whatever reason, you know, they've, they've created movements called like the Aboriginal movement, the so-called American Black Indian movement and all this and all this uh, crazy stuff. You know, again, salute to coming into knowledge yourself and realizing, you know, your land is underneath your feet and not in some foreign place like we were all kind of taught in the Again, the Marxist socialist school curriculums. Um, but let me tell you something. I've been, I've had knowledge of self for a minute. I've been in the con so-called conscious community since about 2007, man. And let me tell you something. 
I'm old enough to I'm, I've been I've been down in the game long enough to remember. Around that time, 2007, 2008, everybody, all the conscious and the master teachers were on a demonstration of Pan-Africanism. They were on a demonstration of kind of Kemet, more the, more the Egyptian African demonstration, which, like I say, there's nothing wrong Call with that. Some black nationalism, red RBG, but you like, you got an RBG colors at OG. But that, 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 all, of the, all of these types of awakenings and understandings, they have their place and time to, to put people on the path. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm I'm been around long enough to remember and recall that at that time, the only con- the only group in the conscious community that was telling Asiatics, Mississippian people, so-called people they were labeled so-called African Americans or so-called black, which is a misnomer and so it's just an, always was some goofball stuff. I don't even know why people accepted those de- those designations because they don't make no sense. But um the only group Back in, those, back in that time that was telling Asiatics from America that they were indigenous to America was the Moors. Literally, it was the Washington Moors and it was the Moorish Americans. They were the only ones pushing that demonstration back then. So you got, so any of you young punks, any of you young punks that got on social media in the last few years and spoke and talked down on the Moors and talked down on Noble Drew Ali and all this, man, you really need hands and feet put on you, first of all. But but you need to just kill yourself. You know what I mean? And they say, kill yourself. Do it before I do it. <laughs> you know, you're, you're dishonoring your ancestors. And that's why a lot of y'all carry these generational curses. Because this this what a lot of our people in general carry these generational curses. Because you don't know how to honor your ancestors. And y'all want to disrespect the people that came before you. They were ten toes down. They laid the platform and laid the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? And you wonder why you stay dealing with nonsense and be and, and stay with curses. So and, and hey, uh, who is this say that uh, Omar say uh, he on them ties to Rick Bay listens, uh, ties to okay. So y'all remember when I told y'all Nineteen Keys was looking for a, a moor? Well, he found them. He got Sabir Bay and ties to Rick. They gonna be on high on on um Nineteen Keys show. So he found his moors. I seen a lot of names. I should have went through the list of names uh, that they was dropping down there, but he ended up going with Taj Tariq Bay and uh, Sabir Moore. I'm going to tell you right now, if he would have picked anybody else, whew, Sabir would have went in on him for about a good two weeks. I get about a good 12 days. Tariq would have said, uh, 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 Sabir Bay, I mean, Sabir Bay would have went in by 12 days on him, man. 11 days straight live three times a day. On him and that deal that he had with whoever more, <laughs> cause you know, say uh, Sabir say you a nigga ain't no real moors out here but me and ties. You know they don't need to call none of y'all names. Y'all know who y'all are. You know what I mean? If there's a big, there's a big fat leader of the, of the squad who's really like to run his mouth about the moors and all that. Uh, no need to call your name. You know who you are, bro. But let me tell you something, and that's why we about to call out the real masters. The real teachers who stay ten toes down, because if yo if if you talking down on the Moors, and you didn't and and you don't got no you don't have no sources, and no prominent groups that had anything to say as far back as 1997, whereas we whereas we Moors can document, then you then man you dead in the water, you know what I'm saying? You way out of bounds, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So check it out. I want to say salute to a few master teachers that have stayed down and always told Asiatics that they were American, original copper colored American. Hakeem Bay, this the great Hakeem Bay. This man dropped the Morris Paradigm video in 1997. That video, that video is like a maybe an hour and a half long, but it clearly tells, it clearly instructs so-called people who are now misnomered as so-called black, African-American, or whatever nonsense color crap they want to come up with next. It instructs them that they are indigenous to America. This is 1997. I want to say Hey, let's get 10 more likes in the building, fam. Let's get 10 more likes in the building. Salute. I see the Duke of Tears. This brother, when I first came into knowledge, he was he was pushing that demonstration. Back then, a lot of cat, a lot of the mes- physicals and the master teachers, they were talking about Africa. They were talking about Kemet. They were, you know, they, they were talking about 
all of these foreign designations and, and steering our people across the water. Whether they knew better or not, it is what it is. But my the brother, I see the Duke of Tears, he was on the American, purely American demonstration back right 2007, 2008. So salute to that brother. You know what I mean? I want to say salute to Eileen Bay. That brother was on it back then. A real Washington brother. He was telling he was telling the truth about our nationality. Even I gotta say salute to Dr. Ali Muhammad. That brother was on that. He was he was kicking science on that back then. You know what I mean? Um, say salute again to the Washita Moors. They was kicking the science back then. You know, way back before any of you young punks who want to talk, they want to run your mouth. And <laughs> <laughs> nah, turn up on the road, G. I don't go off then, man. If it's up, then it's stuck. If it's up, then it's stuck. What's that, Cardi B? Cardi B said, if it's up, then it's stuck. If it's up, then it's stuck. He said, I'll grab one of you little young punk by y'all collar. He said, I'll grab one of you little young punk by y'all collar, man. Call yourself Aboriginal now, but you want to talk down on the Moors. If you ain't got a timeline of any one of you clowns, any Aboriginal going back as far as 1997 with this demonstration, bro, kill yourself. You know what I'm saying? You look like a straight up clown, a straight up goofball, man. Uh, we ride for the Moors around this peace partner because they was the first in line and they stayed down. They didn't ever get off their square about their birthrights and where they came from, like a lot of y'all and your ancestors did. Pimping, you know what I'm saying? I want to say salute, brother, people, and folk. You know, that brother. That brother, I came, I came into science with him uh, in the recent years, but that brother done stayed down. He done dropped a lot of science. He's very consistent. Y'all check him out. You know what I mean? Um, even even going all the way back to now, hey, when he got a nice little list up there. I went, I went arguing with that list that he that he dropped. You know, and this is my thing. From all the work that's being put in. Last year, I lost my channel for 11 and a half months. This channel that I'm on right now. I was only able to go live on StreamYard on it. Other than that, I ain't had no control on it. Uh, so, in my mind, I had a lot of videos on private. So, a lot of, the, uh, a lot of it was gone. I ain't had access. So, All of that could have been wiped away. You feel me? A lot of history that people put down in the game that put bricks on the road for people to even walk these journeys. A lot of them will go unremembered because there's no shrine to record the history. Back in time, our ancient ancestors, they recorded. That's why they were the great. That's why they were so great. That's how they were able to get their they mathematics on point. That's how they, they was able to understand the cycles of, uh, of, of, of the universe, the seasons. It's April, May. What, what they doing right now? We was back on the land. What we'll be doing? We'll be out there in the field, man, putting it in the dirt. Fall hit, we finna get it up out the ground. It's... it's you know, wildlife magic. But yeah, now I say, oh man, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of people that he came through, man, won't be forgotten, won't be, I mean, won't be remembered. You have so many people, new people that's doing it now too, and so many people telling the American story now that don't have it. I remember, you know, take it back to the gang culture. People come in and get down in the set. And don't even know the history of it. The origins, where it come from, the big homies, the people that, that lost, the people that sacrificed. So I feel it. I I I um uh, I feel like that should be a shrine for all, even the Pan African, Dr. Ben, Clark Nim, all of them. You know, all the, but ain't nobody recording history no more. We didn't that's 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 one of the differences between us and, and ancestors. So you know, with with plans that I have for BCU, man. Uh, you know, the names that I have, you know, I guess I try to get in touch with people and everything when the project going down, but I wanna uh try to enshrine it. 
that's how they get the Stellas and the um, you know, the Codexes and and and, and the uh, Cartouches and sh- that you know that's why all they come from. They document it, and so when you go in the Bunham Pop, you go in these different um temples down there, or uh, they recorded bars, and so uh, they walk. Doctor York, he was back in the nineties. He called himself a Yamasee Moore. You know what I mean? Back in night, back in the late nineties. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, y'all, you know, y'all gonna have to all pay y'all taxes to the Moors. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you need to salute the people who. Now, Moors, I know y'all ain't finna talk about coming and slave us again. Huh? I know y'all ain't. <laughs> Say, man, I know you ain't talking about colonizing something and forcing taxes on us again, man. Come on, man. You remember when King George did that, man? It ain't go well, man. They came and look at it, man. Yeah, you get Boston Tea Parties and all that type of nigga dressed up like Mohawk Indians and in you know what I'm saying? Going crazy. Hair run on the boat. Yeah, they had bricks came in. They talking about black tea. No, nah, they wanted them packs of hair run. With the with the East Indies company um stamp on it. Scorpion stamp on it coming from across the water. Stayed down. A lot of y'all got off y'all square and y'all forgot who where y'all came from. The Moors never forgot. And that's all Moab, you know what I mean? Preserving the covenant and staying down for their birthrights. So again, if you had any, if you had, if, and y'all know who y'all are, if y'all had any garbage, disrespectful things to say about Noble Drawley, you know, and but you're still trying to come around here and claim you now you want to now you used to be a pan African and you want to claim. All of a sudden, that you business to America, man, kill yourself, man. You like I said, you really need hands and feet put on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> back, way back when, in the real America, the Moors was the police. You know what I'm saying? The Sharifs, and you trust me. Come on, man. You put throw a nigga in the slab. He say we was allowed. He say see a lot. The Moors was real police. We locking you Indian ass niggas up. <laughs> you wouldn't have been able to run your mouth back then. But now y'all got these, you got y'all got all these other groups in the way protecting, and y'all can y'all can feel like y'all can run y'all mouth. Man, it's gonna get back, it's gonna get back to the old ways. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? He went back, he went on uh, Revelation 10 on us. He who lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. He said the Confederate, you know, them white boys, they wear the shirt, say the South will rise again with the Confederate emblem on it. Quick story, right? I smashed this white boy. So I had got out, man, in one of my old leaks, man. He was a big spender with me. He was an engineer. So he ended up getting me on at this company he worked on. And I ain't last too long. It was one black dude there. Well, he was about, oh, it was two. So one was like a semi-manager. He'd been there like 20 years. It was another one from New Orleans. Or uh, uh, out of Night War, name. Uh, man, what's my boy name, man? It's gonna come to me. Oh, uh, I can see his face. New Orleans, real New Orleans nigga. So um I beat everybody there. You know, I, I bring donuts and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm up early. I'm player. So I'm in there jamming on the radio. One day, white boy come in, st- stop the radio, put it on country music. So I turn around and he say, It's too early. I don't feel like hearing this shit. He got this Confederate shirt on with the arms ripped off. Say the South will rise with the big Confederate shirt uh, flag on it. So I walk back over there, press play back on my, you know, I'm jamming. And I walk out, but I ain't walk too far. He stopped it immediately. I turn around. He said, I don't feel like hearing that. It's my radio. I grabbed a radio, snatched it out the wall, slammed it on the ground. So... Reggie, that's the New Orleans nigga name. So, you know, I tell him, what's up? So all the white boys, they come over there, they on the forklift. They the big names in there, you know what I'm saying? They make it more than every, all of them. So they, it's a section where where you, you use the, the wood saw or whatever. And so um, they standing on their side, all the white boys, they didn't, when it piled up, I'm Dolo, two essays in there, but they ain't fucking with me. They bought, they was buying something from me at the time too though, but I ain't doing no tripping. So Rizzy come in, he late, come in tucking his shirt in and all that. So I just started walking to the back where the white boys was there. I'm making quick. 
So I walk over there where it he come holler at me every day he come in. So he walking towards me. At the same time, like I say, he late, so he fixing his clothes. So it looked like he getting ready, but he really getting ready for work. He see me walking, so he falling back after me. I turn around, I see him coming. So I'm like, what's up? The white boys kind of like open the hole when I when I come through. And uh Reggie walked up and he just like you know, New Orleans nigga, they just high energy, just like full of life. They just, you know what I'm saying, wow, like and so he like, What's up? You know what I'm saying? What's up, motherfucker? Like everybody standing around crazy, like, what's up, motherfucker? And uh they don't know what's going on. So I took advantage. You know, I made it look like I had help. I ain't told Rich, you know, I took off on that nigga. Boom, 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 boom. We were rocking in there though. I mean, fucked up, nigga. But anyway, man, let's walk. Trust me. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to run. You ain't gonna be able to hide and just do whatever you want to do forever. Yeah, they let me max him out. They let me max him out. They ain't jump in. Well, they tried to break it up. Uh, but I, don't touch me. And uh, you know, shout out to new, you know. Oh uh, man, I ain't no Rick in my car fucking with it, no. But shout out to you know, man. Uh he was like, nah, there ain't gonna be no jumping. It ain't gonna be no jumping. But yeah, we took care of that though. All right, shout out to the Morris brother. Let me show y'all his channel again. I don't know his name, but uh, I don't know how to say his name, but that's the homie channel right there, man. So y'all go t- tap in with the big homie. He thugged out. He on there holding the banger and everything. All right, now let me do this here. Let me play this joint where they was, I was building over there with bullets got in them on the black European history. Oh, uh, man, for, we went into black deities. We went into a lot. Uh, so we, we'll jump into that. And, you know, um, Gotti, he was representing for the Moors. Some brother jumped out there, so they let him get a one-on-one. Let's walk. Okay. So when we talk the facts, let's talk the true facts. It's just like when we talk about how the Moors came over here to these Americas or to the Island of Spice, whatever you want to name it. When the Moors came over here, the people that was over here spoke the language, the same language as the Moors. But like I tell people, all you got to do is read the book before. All you got, yeah, Hebrew, definitely. They were speaking Hebrew. But all you got to do is read the book before Columbus. And they'll tell you the actual history. That's all you got to do. Read the book before Columbus. I have a Columbus. question for you, Bullets. The book is called The Game yeah. Before Columbus. Um, okay. I was under the impression that the Moors, the Moors, um, taught the white people how to walk, how to talk, how to do everything, right? Um, so mm-hmm. what you say, right? That's true, it made right? them human. Yes, that's, that's true. That's true. Make them human. Well, well, they, 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 they also, they also, I want to go through um, some facts real quick. Hold can on I quick. finish? Oh, you got a rose. Rose, my bad. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go out the rose real quick. And they also um, um, enslaved black people, right? No, they did not enslave black people. That's not what happened, okay? What happened was, like I said, the Moors was basically came over here to basically civilize, or Europe, whatever you want to say. They, they came to civilize the European, okay? The same European, because you have to remember, Right, you go back if you read scriptures in the Bible, they talk about the Canaanites, which is the albino people. Hey, hold on one second. Um, uh, girly girl, girly girl say she flirt. Hold on, let me get go to the comment. Girl, <laughs> watch this here though. And she got away from me that fast. She said, uh, what's she? At? Girly girl says she flirt. Well, that's a that's a boy. That ain't no girl. That's a boy. <laughs> nah. Girly girl, that's a boy. Uh, so that part not on there. It probably do be on there when that person right there uh is going to let everybody know. You know what I'm saying? I'm a boy, Damon. I said, oh man, that one I don't be saying them, bro. I just be sitting back. <laughs> Say, but the internet crazy, man. You never know, bro. I'm telling you. Right? So when the albino people left, 
what you call uh, Al Kebulon, Africa, man of mankind, because that's what we call Africa. It's called Al Kebulon or the man of mankind, which is that's where civilization started. Okay, so when these albino people left, it was Sandy. So what you <laughs> Sandy? So what you trying to say? God, he ain't spitting. <laughs> Yo, I got it. Got it. I ain't even know God it had it in it. What you trying what you trying to say? Got it ain't spitting? People, species <laughs> that were in the caves. When those our final people went in the caves, they made it with those species, which was people that, that what we call the K, the K beasts, the apes, the animals, the monkeys, okay, which was the Caucasians. Okay. That's why when when people talk about the Caucasian, the Caucasian is not a human. Okay, the Caucasian is not a human. He's not a human being. He is an ape. He is the cave beast. He is what you see is disrespect. I'm not disrespecting. I'm not trying to disrespect the white. Hey, let's get 10 more likes, family. Let's get 10 more likes. Let's get 10 more likes. <laughs> Merc, man. Why you want to merc to do with information like this, man? <laughs> People. But when they say that we was close with the monkey. My mic, who, who know my mic? I'm, I'm speaking facts, you know. But at the end of the day, when it comes to when the Moors went over there and civilized them, yes, they cleaned them up, they civilized them, they taught them how strategies of war, they told them a whole lot of things. You understand? And, they you understand? Also and what they did was slavery. You forget so that. Like point. I mean, they were slaves. Hold on, they were slaves. The right, white right, white people on, were hey, slaves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What mic gonna be? All right, so look, look, look. All right, I'm cool with like, cause I'm I'm all for black propaganda. All right, hold on, hold on, man. We gotta support. Uh, shout out to the homie Open Knowledge. Shout out to, um, uh, Miss Tracy. Shout out to the homie Superior Mind. Shout out to the homie Eric, and shout out to the homie Mo in the cash. I appreciate that. Uh, and uh, telling black lies to make us look better. White people do it with the media. They do it with history. They whitewash a lot of history. I'm all for that, right? I'm, I'm all for indoctrinating kids to, uh, uh, even if it's false. Certified Satch, you think he did bad? That was bad? <laughs> I think y'all hard, man. Y'all like the Apollo crowd, man. Y'all might be being hard on it, man. He say. He said this is all facts like 12 times. To make them look like they was the victor in history, right? But uh, we about to talk some actual facts and put like facts on the tables. Let's read, let's see some shit, right? So like, uh, Darren, I got a question. So when you see some shit like, uh, I'm using this example, we're not going to talk about Africa. But when you see shit like um, a white Jesus in Africa, or, or right, does that... Does that mean like it shows like there was a white presence there at a certain time? Is that a form of colonization? Like, oh, uh, white people was here. Sit down. Hey, let me get next yeah. on that, Lou. Dan, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. That that was the end of your question. Yeah. Uh, so my question is. Like, okay, so this the guy. His name is Darren. So brother Darren is not trying to hear none of this shit. Nobody in there talking about it. He's taking all fades. Brother Darren said he's a world-renowned scholar and people hasn't read enough to get on his level, okay? And so, uh, been doing this for a while, some time now. And uh, Brother Darren said the floor is open. Floor is open and he's taking our phase. Like, all right, so you know you see like like statues of... Um of like white Jesus and like Africa and shit, like West Africa, they got big ass white Jesus statues in Nigeria. What does that yeah. mean? Like, what does that mean to you when you see shit like that? On like from a from a colonizer standpoint, not the people that's been oppressed. Yeah, no, I mean it's definitely um, the spread of European um, influence propaganda, and it's mm. they had a presence there. I don't, I don't okay. No, no, no. Okay, no, we 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 we, we agree. So my my point to that is. So there's like uh, black Madonna shrines all throughout Europe and shit, right? So does that is is, is that the same premise that it was a black presence in Europe all throughout um, Europe? When you see black Madonna shrines all throughout Europe and shit, like in Spain and certain places in Europe. 
So I think the Black Madonna is a horrible example. Um, the Black Madonna actually has to do with uh, more of a European alchemy um, and how they use colors to represent things symbolically than it does um, actual Black people. But like there are other examples of like a Black, an actual Black presence that you could have used. The Black Madonna is not a good example. Why, why, why not? I, I, I think it's an excellent example. It represents, it represents an like alchemical symbol. All right, symbol. All right so what about like a coat of arms? So like, if you look at this flag up top, right? This is a flag of Sar um, Sardinia. This is a, it's, a, it's an island in Europe and near Italy and shit. And they have a black Amor flag as their flag. Still to this day, this flag been around since... Uh, hold on, let me see how long the And in Corsica, too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget Corsica. Corsica. So what's your excuse behind... All right, so you said... The, the I, I, didn't, I, point mean, is I, mean, I didn't even state my position. What do you mean, excuse? No, I've never said... I, 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 I didn't, didn't even say, say that there were black people the first, in, um, you, you said I've the black Madonna said, is a mute point, so I'm, I'm asking you about yeah, that. Yeah, and you said the Moors weren't black. I never said that either, but I mean... Oh, so the Moors were black. Oh, you know, so the Moors weren't the Moors weren't one specific group, right? Like the term developed over time and it changed over time, and then it became applied to to black people specifically. But like yeah, but talking, the black talk nobility about, in Europe was definitely we all, we all talk about the um. And it wasn't just nobility. Like, all black people were called Moors at, at one point. Well, no, that's not true, bro. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, James was a black Moor, though. If so we're like, when y'all talk, talk about the, the Islamic presence, and I'm, I'm I'm saying Islamic because what y'all have to understand is it's transcontinental, it's transnational, it's transethnic, and it's multicultural. Like when you talk about the Islamic presence in Southern just, Europe, that's not just black people, and it's not led. But by it wasn't black just Muslims people. that were black. It wasn't just Muslim. They was they was, was, was they was also Hebrew. It was Christian. Yeah, it was Jewish, Jewish like, people. Yeah, yeah. So there, yeah. Uh, when, uh, when, when there was an Islamic present in Al Andalus, and this is heavily documented. This is why I say, like, y'all actually don't, like, y'all are not doing, like, y'all are not doing the, like, the, the hair splitting. Like, they talk about the Jewish and Christian presence that existed under that guy in that caliphate, right? And, and, and people, and people try to even push this narrative that it was like, I always tell people, bro, do not separate the Moors and the Jews. Not if you're talking about Al Andalusia, because that when the Moors got there, the Jews was already there, and the Romans, you know, it was a Roman colony first, and the Romans was handling their ass. When you talk about the Golden Ages, then that's when you get the Seven Eleven story they always talk about. They gonna come in and run off to visit guys. That era of the golden ages of that time is gonna be an infused culture of the Jews and the Moors paradigm. So we got lecture coming up, maybe two weeks or something, and we'll complete this story. So y'all know we've been around the world and back. And now it's, we we come to the the last point. I mean, we didn't broke down the real Christopher Columbus story. We found out who really was bringing him over here, where he really got his game, what's the connection. This one we show the bloodline connections between the story, and it's gonna make it all make sense. We remember the first one from Virginia. It was deeper than the Pocahontas. I tricked y'all with the Pocahontas. And when we got in there, we really, man, Sister Runner said, ah, that's some tea right there. Yeah, that was some tea. Probably my one of my favorite ones out of all of them, part one. But this one, we going to part four, we bring it all together. But oh, let's walk. Well, it was coexistence. It was actually a lot of discrimination with Christians and Jews there, right? So that's that's just another fallacy that people like to push in this narrative. Um, this whole narrative that these people civilized Europe, I don't think y'all understand. Like y'all are like y'all are so. They did civilize Europe. Stop, please stop, please stop. Please, stop. Please, there, stop. There, please, there, please, you can't, you can't, please, you can't, please, you can't please, put out, you can't put bullshit out there, bro. Yeah, I let everybody finish. Y'all let. Little matter, then we can reply. 
Yeah, yeah that's a deal. Set on. But then, uh, reply to the uh, reply, reply to the Sardinia flag. You went on a long dive. I, I, I specifically about this flag. Specifically. And what about the flag? What do you want me to answer about? I'm it? saying so. Um, is the, I never is, said it wasn't a black presence in Southern Europe, or there wasn't a black presence uh, in North Africa. Like I don't. What is there to dispute? Oh, no, but I'm saying so. You saying the majority of the people that was Moors that ruled like that I'm was saying in, I'm saying the Islamic was they black or was they, they, the Umayyad Caliphate. We guys, never brought up the Umayyad Caliphate. That's before. where the Moors come from. Like, like this is where this is where the expansion comes from. This is where these conflicts in this period that you guys are talking about. This is where it starts. It starts with the Umayyad Caliphate, and then the Umayyad Caliphate splinters, and then you have successive uh, um, emirates ruling over Al Andalus, as they called it, as the Muslims called it. And these were Persians, these were Turks, these were Arabs, these were Africans. These were these were North Africans. These were a, a slight bit of West Africans, but these weren't just black people, and that's what you people don't get to your head. Yeah, but I've never met a clear. Shout out to Divine Isis. Welcome to the BCU Jaguar. Yeah, you gotta do a growl. You gotta growl. You gotta do one of them roars, though. I, I was oh, there. I was 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 there. Like claim nobody made that like, claim on stage though. So somebody on the black people yeah. 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 Well, yeah. rivers yeah. Yeah. Hey um brother Bill the truth. Um, do you want the link family? You just dropped a paragraph down there in the chat. Um to be honest, brother, I can answer that question, but I'd love to have the conversation with you. So uh, if you have time, we can stop the show real quick, have a five-minute dialogue about it, and see if we can find some understanding on that last comment that you dropped. Uh, is that fair enough for you, brother Truth? Bitter Truth, I'm sorry. And... um. I don't want to make the chat way too long because I'm sure they would love to hear this conversation as well. So if you could, please drop a comment in the chat uh, to let me know if you want the link. Well, matter of fact, the link is pinned at the top of the chat. Yeah, let me make sure again. Because if it's not, I need to put it up there. Yeah, I think the link is at the top of the chat. Oh, uh, pin. Let me see. Well, let's 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 do it like this. If it's not down there, let's make sure we can get it up there. Okay. Well, the link is pinned at the top of the chat, family, brother. Build a truth. So I can make sure that the brother heard me. He said, no, nah, I don't want a link. I just want to know why more is always in your mouth. Seem like a job more than anything else. Well, brother, bit of truth. I think that's an excellent conversation that we can have, brother. And I think the, the question, I don't think you can find understanding just through that question. So come on up and, and let's talk about it, brother. I mean, it ain't nothing to be afraid of. It's just a conversation. And we're going to keep it respectful. So, um, I mean, if you can write that much in the, in the, in the chat, and if you, can honest, if you honestly feel like that, brother, and if you honestly want to answer, let's do it like this, because, you know, I'm very, very direct. I'm a read. We get straight to it. Yeah, so what I'm saying is if you honestly want to answer, because I would love to answer that question, brother. If you really, really feel like that in your heart and you're standing on man time and you really want want that question answered, I think you will come up and talk to me. If not, brother, um, 
then you're not standing on no man time and you really didn't want the question answered. You just wanted to disrupt the show. How about that? Maybe, maybe you dropped that there to disrupt the show, brother. So what I'm gonna do is continue with the show because the link is in the chat. And if you really, really feel like that in your heart as a man, then you'll hit that link and come up here and talk to me like a man. As I stated earlier, if not, then we know you were just trying to interrupt the show, brother. The link is in the chat. We waiting on you. I gotta unpack all this information because you guys actually don't do your research on European. No, you're pushing myths out here, bro. You're pushing myths out here, bro. Hey, 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 so look, Darian, listen, 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 can I, finish, can I please finish my points before I forget them, right? So y'all when we get to them stained glass windows. The Moors went over Kim and Bullets, and I think somebody... I think they did the same, that's right. The Moors went to civilize... Excuse me? Are you yeah, a stop a trolling, man. Come on, man. What is wrong with Black you? Black European. Good Lord. Maybe white Jesus was a good thing. I'm, I'm starting to think so, right? Um... Oh man! Right. Damn, so bro. listen, right? Y'all had this whole narrative: black people, civilized Europeans, right? Like, do y'all understand? <laughs> like, previous to the, the the creation of Islam and Christianity, previous to the Umayyad Caliphate and its expansion, the Europeans were already very, very fucking advanced. This person, um, bullets, conflated Hannibal. No, they weren't. They were Vikings. Let them land. Let them land. Hey, time out. What happened to my boy, man? Come on now, nah, man. I say you know what I'm finna go in there and grab a bottle of water, and I know old boy gonna be on the link waiting back stage. Hey, 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 Brother, curiosity killed the cat. If you was curious, you would have been on the stage. Now I'm feeling like you a troll, bro. You on some troll shit now. Yeah, I'm feeling like you a troll now, man. You trolling me, bro? I'm curious. All I hear is more. It was different mores that should be common knowledge. Listen to me, family. I have spoken no words in the conversation yet. None. These there's a Morris brother pr that's on the panel that has been talking. That's Bullet Gotti. The other video I can't even remember the, the guy's name or uh, the the uh the, the gangster Moore is him OG Moore and that's what his new name OG Moore and uh yeah I ain't said nothing yet. So now I think you you like a attention whore. Yeah, you got on Daisy Dukes with the ass side. Yeah, nigga, I think you tricked me. You tricked me to, to look in the chat and get you some attention. Yeah, you got the Daisy Duke. You got on some pink Dukes with the ass side and no panties. You tricked me. Yeah, you trying to get my attention, man. Say, Jack. Y'all done peep your game, man. I feel played, man, because this nigga tricked me. See, a real man would have hit the link. He come back a grown man. You understand me? Come out here and ask a question like that. And I got to ask him more than three times why he ain't up here talking to me like a man. And his response is he's curious. Kindergartners are curious. Three-year-old toddlers are curious. You supposed to be a grown man. You supposed to be coming up here looking for understanding. 
he done turned into a toddler like this preschool talking about, talking about he's curious. Yeah, that hoe came through here with tats on her thighs, with paw prints on her thighs. You hear me? Y'all remember that day when they used to put the paw prints on the thighs? Yeah, she got the tramp stamp, put the name right over the top of that ass. Yeah, with some pink daisy, hot pink daisy do on with the ass she cut out. Come through here trying to get seen. Say, man, let me tell you something, Jack. Let me tell you something. He said you got a whole anti-moral army. In the comments, this is what you created. Well, pull up and come do something about it, nigga. What are you protesting right now? That ain't gonna work. Bring your ass up here and talk like a man. Maybe we can find an understanding. Down there, you sound like you crying like a little female. Nigga, you gonna see, see the OG more, the gangster more. He they need to come through and start checking you. You knew more. You niggas don't want to do nothing but where the fry, uh where the where the feds. Yeah, yeah, y'all don't want to do nothing but what the feds now. Y'all done abandoned Noble Drew Ali. You understand me? Nah, man, he concocted a whole new uh, genre. Nah, man, he got nothing. Yeah, that, that OG more needs to. That's why he need to get on the block and start checking a whole lot of it. He wouldn't have let Tariq slap him. Nah, not that more. Shout out to, uh, to Hawker. He's still my favorite more, but nah, OG more. Nah, he would. Tariq would have had to come on with it out there. And see, you you another one of them more. You know, see, Tariq would have slapped the feds off of you. Yeah, see, you them, yeah, you that type of more Tariq would have jumped out, pulled up, and slapped the shit out of you. Yeah, you won't even hit the link. Some grown man talking about he curious, like he four motherfucking years old. He caught up and then all four. Wait, 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 hold on. Darian went from y'all to bullets now. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. No, let him address me. Let him address me. I didn't know. I won't smoke with everybody. I'm actually convinced. Uh, I, I want to smoke with you because you can push some bullshit. Though. I'm actually convinced. Let him land though. Let him land Like, let I, him I, land. now I have to get a little bit of fence because I'm actually convinced. No. Get wrong. Mm -hmm. Waters, working toilets. These people were very fucking in. An empire you have, what you call the Dark Ages. And, and, and contrary to popular belief, the dark ages weren't as dark as people thought and, and the, the new scholarship is coming out that they were still on point right so what you have with the islamic expansion is they found all these latin texts i.e latin and greek texts i.e specifically right and i can name specific fucking philosophers that quote unquote reintroduce european culture back to <laughs> europeans right because it, it got lost right it's they're in Africa, right? Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, man, uh, ma or sir, whoever that was. They're, they're talking specifically <laughs> yeah. about no, control yourself, they're, bro. They're talking. <laughs> about... <laughs> but I be thugging, so I'm gonna I'm skip up till I come in. Thousands of years later, two different. Most of that in history, right? And you really go back and deep dive into history, right? Before any white and all this, everybody was was either melanated or, like I said, they were albino people. That's what you call the Canaanites, okay? That's history, those are facts. You want to call them the people of Jacob, the Europeans, the, the Yaku, the big head scientists, whatever you want to call them. They were in caves, okay? If you go to China, there are artifacts of melanated people in China. This is facts. If you go to Europe and you look up the Black Britons, Cheddar Man, King James, those were melanated people. Hey, y'all, let's get the likes over 200. Let's get the likes over 200. So when you come up here on these stages and you say the whitewash history, that's an ignorant statement to say. That means that you haven't done enough knowing your own history, okay? When you talk about the seven African powers, we're talking about the Greeks, the seven African powers. That's the Greeks that we what we basically talking about. This is true facts. 
This is true history facts. This is historical facts. Okay? It's not lies. It's not pseudoscience. This is historical facts. What they what, what, what America has done and what a lot of these institutions have done is hide our history to not make us out of our history. That's what they have done. Okay? That's why they stole all the books from Tim Buck too, which is the first league college. Okay? So when you come here, when you come here, you you push the narratives that you push it, bro. That's 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 what we learned in school. That's the whitewash history. We learned that in school. I learned that in school. But when you know your real history and you know that your people was royalty and they basically civilized these doggone cave beasts, these these white folks, okay, and made them civilized human beings and taught them strategies of war and taught them everything that they needed to know reading and all that listen black people has the highest iq level most smartest people there the problem is white people don't want to teach us because they don't have a high iq level they still our history and still our knowledge this is facts this is why when when a black <laughs> nigga got this here this is facts about a hundred thousand <laughs> But y'all New York niggas wild as well. Y'all nigga crazy too. Them California nigga crazy. Midwest, up north, down south, man. All y'all just wild, man. Enters in the school system. They tell you by the age of five, you they predict your child to be in prison. Okay, so when we come here, we push these narratives on these the states. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking facts. Okay, because what he came up here, what he came up here and said was false. That's false. We can't be pushing false. Know, let me say this though, I know, because I got, I've been trying to get in there. Hey, also, let me, let me, I, I, let me believe, get out to him. I believe the majority of what you were saying, but what Darian was saying is the. There's one point that I just want to bring up. He was. Saying, I was about, saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I got. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. The only thing I'm gonna bring up, I'm gonna let you. Whoever else wants to cook. He was saying that there was two different time points between Hannibal, which was like before BCE, and you know, like the Dark Ages, which is like the fourth between the fourth and fifteenth century. You know what I'm saying? He was saying there's a difference. Dark Ages. That's all he was saying. Bro, they That's still all was in saying the cave. Was so look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. still was in the cave. I said, I said more, than, more than that, and the fact that you agree with bullets and not me shows that black people are doomed. Like, no, 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 so, no, 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 no. So, so I'm not saying that I don't agree yeah, with yeah, some of the bro, things that you were saying you there as well. Bro. But what I'm saying, I, I agree with mostly, you know, mostly what 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 bullets is saying, and I agree with some of the stuff you were saying too, bro. Y'all both have facts. It's just that I think y'all are speaking from my like kind of two different type of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are two different planes right now. Y'all not on the... Both of them Moors, though. That's a more on more fight. This brother coming here talking about why I'm speaking down. I ain't even got in the conversation yet. My conversation ain't even about the Moors in this bill. Same plane right now. I'm going to do it with them little high pins trying to twist. You better get your ass out of the block. All right, can I get in there? I mean, he's coming from the talk of points you learned in school. I've learned nothing what I've learned in in this school. I've I've studied direct sources. I'm unbiased. Um, I actually know your position because your position is the position I was introduced to, but right, I'm I'm academically rigorous, right? I I use actual critical thinking, right? Like empirical evidence. I don't try to like push a weird historical agenda or narrative. Like I actually no, do. You, you pushing whitewash history, bro. That's whitewash history. Whitewash history, bro. Because I'm, I'm not pro white. That's whitewash history. Bro. Not that's not the true history. That's not the true facts. That's not the facts. Even the white people know the real facts and the real truth. Okay. So, what's so the real facts and the real truth? The, the real truth point by point. and the real facts was that these people weren't civilized, bro. The real truth and facts was they stole all yeah, our yeah. academic and everything. Your, the real truth Europeans and facts is, bro, Which that, Europeans are you talking about? I'm talking about all the Europeans that were in Europe. The ones you know how, that you were know in how, the like, cave. You know how complex... Hey, shout out to Brandy Coke. She said they should have let them stay in the caves. It jumped on me. All they did was turn against them after they taught them everything they know. Yeah, and I mean the Moors on record saying they left the the white man as the custodian to the information. 
Shout out to Stephanie Zaya in the building. What's up with it, Steph? Bit of truth, you still down there talking in that link up there. You supposed to be dropping. Next coming I see from you is I'm backstage. You feel me? Right. Oh, uh, yeah. Next coming. Bit of truth. Next coming from you, family. Should should read. I'm backstage. It's the Roman Empire was. Bro, are you aware? I'm talking about the Roman Empire. We're not talking about the Roman Empire. We're talking before the Roman Empire, bro. So we what, talking what about period, when just stuck in it. Okay? We talking about... You got, hold on, bro. Hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Okay? Because when we go back in the spiritual context, the historical context, okay, these people were in the caves. Okay, when you go back and look at the Moors history, the Moors history, they tell you that the Moors had control of Europe from AC to the 1400s. Okay, huh? AC to the 1400s. This is true facts and history. So, this is what we learned in school. Or... Can I say after something? Christ, after Christ, AD, whatever you want to say, after after Christ or after AD, Sir, you don't it's know still AD. evidence that these people was here and people that don't look like black people was there like post some sources uh you know what i'm really? saying then we can dive in deep read and then we because y'all just going back and forth and y'all saying stuff y'all i'm not, y'all I'm not, not going back and forth y'all y'all not letting me no respond. To anything like this was y'all are not letting time. me respond Hey, put I, me in the queue blue isn't it the most this is literally my first time talking i'll let y'all talk to yeah. Hey, appreciate that 50 ball in the cash app, Gabe. Appreciate that 50 ball in the cash app, Gabe. Chief, you've been in the queue. They just disrespect me. I'm, I'm not listening. I want to understand why is this guy keeps saying that the Moors did not have control of Europe from the AD to the 1400s, which they was defeated and they was killed and they was ran right out of Europe in the 1400s. Right where you at? Can we get some? Can we get some some definition? Right where you at? Like, let's get a time period right here. He just gave the time Boy, period. Don't he, even, he, he said A.D. He just said A.D. What, what is A.D.? Let, let me and him have this conversation because he just clarified. He said 1 A.D. to the 1400s. I didn't back. say 1 A.D. Bro, I just, uh, I'm going to do a long I'm going to do a long I got you. I got you, though. You know you're my brother. All right. So we talking about black, black nobility in Europe because we was talking about somebody posed a question and asked, like, why do they treat black people so bad in, 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 uh, now, right? And, you know, uh, so someone referenced, and I referenced, is like, hey, listen, there's some shit that had to happen before 1492 for people to, you know what I'm saying, for us to be in this situation now. So then we start bringing up the black mo- black nobility in Europe from 700 to 1492, and we're posing a question that uh, black people rule Europe. I'm not really trying to go down this, it was all black people shit, right? Because it's, it's, I feel like that's like a, it's like a low vibrational convo. Like, that That doesn't matter. We're talking about black presence in Europe. We're not talking about there was all black people uh, presence in Europe. We just wanted to know who was, who was the black people, what country specifically, and is there is there some definitive evidence, like, or archaeological evidence, of uh, them worshipping black deities, like how we worship white deities now, and and like some reference points, timestamps and shit like that, right? So, 
That's the reset. Uh, we gonna let new. Shout out to uh Miss Vicky uh McLean. She said I heard that is why they called it the Black Age because the Moors were in control. New people talking. Then we gonna get back to bullets and Darian. Uh, who wanna talk to it? Uh, Green. What you say, Bud? Green. It's on Chief. Oh, yeah, Chief. it's on Tiger. All right. All right. People All right. trying to learn, so we ain't trying to do this uh this intellectual bravado shit where people were, like screaming, going back and forth. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. We want people to put facts on the table in chronological order so people in the, in the chat can look it up for themselves and read it. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Shout out to Lou. Lou keeps some big rooms, too. And one thing about Lou rooms, Lou got the baddest women over there on the app on his, in his rooms. Say, man, hey, man, say, man, Jack, y'all already know. If y'all be over there in Lou rooms, Lou got the baddest ones coming, coming there. And they be in there deep. I don't know what they're in there for. They be, you know, I don't be over there that much. But when I go through there, he keep them baddies up in there. And uh, Lou say he bringing him and them baddies. They coming with us uh, to the pyramid tour. So everybody start getting y'all passport right and situated, man. Go on, jump on it now, bro. Don't don't waste no time, bro. Go on, head on and start getting your passports, man. We're going to the pyramids this year. And we finna show up and show out, man, and make history. And I just wanted to bring up a quick f- fun fact. Um, no, um, don't. St. Maurice, don't. just a quick, bro. Uh, be yeah, we know about St. Maurice. And, uh, right, right. Was- nah, it's all good, Miss Vicky. We know what you meant. We we knew what you meant by that. And I'm just pointing out that was before that was before 700 AD. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Before yeah. Islam. Exactly. He was a Christian. He was actually a Christian. Uh, St. Maurice was a Christian, by the way. And, uh, right, right. That would. The, we, we, we gonna dive into all of that shit, the Brother, bit of truth. Uh, can you please produce a picture of me wearing the fizz, brother? Bit of truth. Can you please produce a picture of me in the fizz, and then the uh, Prince Hall Freemason outfit, please, brother? Her flag in Germany with Saint Marie. We gonna dive into all that, but uh, let's just get to uh, let's just get to uh, who was that before Lord? Oh, I, yeah, I have a question. You all keep saying the word Europe. Did not the Moors just run Spain and Portugal? I didn't know they got exactly. England and all they that. They went exactly. in Portugal. They went everywhere. Hold on. Now, Hold on. Now, the title know. says black, so Moors was the only black people that, that was in Europe. It was other black people outside of Moors. That was but Europe. I'm meaning That's running it. Yes, yes. The title says Black nobility in Europe. It's not talking about specifically just Moors. There's different sects of people who ha- ruled Europe because somebody brought up St. Maurice in Germany. Uh, St. Maurice was... When was St. Maurice born? He was uh, two, uh, 287 AD, I think. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's uh, like... Um, no, he was century. born in the 3rd century. But, uh, he, yeah, he was born in the 3rd century. So this is way before more brother just by the mention just by you saying i had on the black and gold right there automatically lets you know it wasn't a fez okay it's a crown brother all right it's not a fez he said with the design in the front um it, it, uh, moore's fezes don't have the designs in the front brother Moore's fez have tassels on them brother my shit didn't have a tassel on it brother what are you talking about Red uh uh fizz is a uh, uh, red to maroon, brother. You just stated that mine was black and gold. Again, first identifying that this is not a fizz. My shit didn't sit up high in the sky like a fizz. Not a fizz, brother. It was a crown. Thank you. First or whatever, and uh, he was actually Saint Maurice. Why are you flipping through? Why are you flipping through my pictures? And you in my chat trying to get toast. You understand me? Why you? Another nigga we caught flipping through my pictures. Didn't control Europe. No, no, he didn't control Europe, but his presence was in um in Germany, uh or whatever. But we don't break it down. So there's not one person that's ruling a whole continent. So I I, I don't think nobody made that claim. I don't think. No, that's that's not true either. So 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 it was one person that ruled Europe. Yeah, no, nah. nah, it wasn't one person. The Roman Emperor successively. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on, he made a claim. So give me the person name that ruled the whole Europe. 
You can name uh, Augustus, Julius Caesar's nephew. Uh, he was the first emperor of Rome. Okay, he ruled the whole um, Europe? Not the entirety of Europe. but My Brother, so why did this man just ask, give me the name of the person who ruled the whole entire Europe, and you sat there and named the name, and then turned around and said, and they want the name to the answer. What be wrong with y'all? Anyway, y'all get out the way. Let me go. Okay, that was the they can this purple dye colonies. So it's not a huge civilization of people. They were actually colonies. And um, these people, like they depicted on the coins, they're, if y'all ever seen the movie, um, it, uh, the, the oh, hold father. On, wait, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. They ain't don't do that, bro. Just let me get my bill out. I never said that. Said it's okay. You did say that. You said it, brother. I said it's not what you say is. You said it's not worth worshiping, bro. You said it. No, I didn't even say that. Like y'all are. You you live with it. He said he was like, no, it's alchemy. She wasn't black. The blackness. Right, you were saying she's not black. It's symbolic. All right, so it's my turn. Okay, uh, and it's not true. So when we let's just uh find these European nations. Like sources, so when you yes sir, no problem. So my first source would be uh J. Roger Six and Race, okay? And you go there to page one ninety-eight, he tells you that this um the 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 Vikings and the um came over and and um and into um Europe. So the father of Scotland, right? His name is Kenny Mack. Okay, they call him Kenneth Mack. Anybody can look this up. Or Kenneth the Niger. Okay, and that's who Jay Rogers referenced in the, the mother of Scotland and Ireland is Queen um, Scotia. Okay, that's who Nova Scotia is named after. And she comes from Egypt. Well, when you talk about um, Forrest, we'll go back to France. <laughs> and they worship her on, on, on Lady Baby. Now, like I said, also look up Sarah Queen Mother or tonight um the the Crusades, the Christian Crusades. They 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 and so I didn't skip up I don't, down. Want to, I don't want to give some of that up. So okay, hold on, let me do the European part. So um they brought up King James. Now you had before King James, you had um the, the War of the Roses, and then King Richard came up. From King Richard, and they always known the, him and Queen Elizabeth II are known as the darkest times in Europe at the time. So you had the, um, the, the what year was that? So we can get the times down. This was the 1300s to the 1400s, okay. and so in the 14 up to the 1500s, 1500s, you go after the War of Roses, you go. Um, that's when you bring in the Tudor to the Tudor line. The Tudor is one of the blackest eras there too. Queen Elizabeth gonna come out the Tudor. She the last one. And these are black people, right? These are melanated people. Matter of fact, they have a, a show. Matter of fact, look, they have a show out right now. Um, and it's um it's it's a drum explain why it's channel files and bowling a black woman. And so um in this in this TV show, they're depicting uh Queen Elizabeth the second, mother is black. I meant Queen Elizabeth the first, y'all, my bad. But, you know, a daddy King Henry, he was out also melanated. These are the Tudors. So you had a Stuart family that's gonna come out of the hood. So you get King James of the Bible. The Stuart, and I just shared something. I shared something about that in the chat for okay. the sources. Okay, thank you. And that's that's Queen Anne, but it's a book called The Life of Elizabeth by Anderson Weir. All right, and on page 16, uh it tells you that uh she had swarthy olive complexion like that of her mother, although she would uh, make a habit of whitening it with lotion made of egg white and powdered eggshell poppy seeds. You feel me? That's what she used to um, lighten up with. But her, um, her mother is depicted in this, and, and they got a lot of drama for that. So I'll uh, close with this. And King James, so you have King James' grandson, the black boy king, which is a statue at the... Uh, the um the Lachief, um Cathedral in, in Staffordshire, England, UK. And um you also have the book John Mackey. You have pubs there called the Black Boy Inn. In 2020, they changed the name to the restoration of Charles II because Black Lives Matter said that that was an insult. 
but really they was trying to hide, you know, go ahead and watch this image. I mean, this this away. But he's he's named the Black Boy King. Anybody look it up, look up Black Black Boy King Charles the Second and his mother Henrietta Maria named him it. And New Chief, but what a more is black. Cause that's how this all started. Were the Moors black? And the, ooh, okay, well they, well, they wouldn't be the Moors. These these people wouldn't actually be the Moors. So the Moors. Shout out to Green Peel, y'all. Green Peel in the chat down there. That's him right here on the bill. They kept saying, "Man, that chief talk." That's Green Peel. Uh, turn over with time. So it's gonna come from Spain. The Moors rule Spain. Hey, Green, man, I need you to, uh, man, go get me some of them shots out there, bro. I need to holler at you, man. Let me know what areas you close, man. There's some work that I I, I want to, um, man, if you get a chance to slide up on these spots, man, that I, that I, um, that I have, man, I'm end up coming out there, man. I think probably 2025, you know what I'm saying? See what, what I made in the game, see how much ground we covered here in the Americas. By the end of BCU tours, we ought to be, in, you know, winning a lot of places. And I'm coming over to uh, my best friend from London. So we fuck around and take the train down to France. I think it's like a two-hour, two-and-a-half-hour drive on the train and come down there, man, and, um, you know, put some boots on the ground. I want to get that Mexico City work, too, and um, get some of that Guatemala work. Belize. Um we're going to run through the whole thing as much as we can, but definitely want to get some on, on, on friends out there. And um, hold on, let me hit on this point. And speaking of Spain, Spain and Portugal was, was black also. So Christopher Columbus, Christopher Columbus comes from, he was a, a Sephardic Jew. The Sephardic Jew, the Moors left in 1493 under the um, Alhambra decree, the Jews got put out. At the same time, the Moors and the Jews. Spanish were, Inquisition. Correct. So um, now watch this. I want y'all to listen to this. Uh, it's, it's 10 seconds. This uh, dude going to break down and tell you that Christopher Columbus really was a Jew. So his he, he come from the royal line. So Alfonso the Fourth Henry, the navigator, the people that, that started the nautical school or the sale for the, for the Portuguese. Well, he gonna come through that line. His his uncles are um, are, um King Alfonso the Fourth, and his daddy is his brother, which would be uh Ferdinand the uh, first and second Duke of Beja. That's in Portugal. They got a statue of, of, of Columbus, a seven foot statue in Beja, Cuba. I mean in um in uh, Beja, uh, yeah, Cuba, Portugal, and they tell you the real. So his real name is Salvador Fernando Zarco. Anybody can look it up. But I'm going to let you hear his people them say it. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to hear so, um, And he's also, the, the, the first gave them. Brother, that's not true. So who would be the white pen? All right, so y'all ain't going to be able to hear it, but because uh, the video playing on the other side. But it's quick though, and I'm about to pop out. If y'all been backstage, okay. you then y'all seen it. Madonna is a what? Black. Madonna is black. So you know, that's black mixed with white. Okay, the brother, that's not yeah. true. So who would be the white parent? That's a mulatto. Who would be the white parent? Because his his mother name, I know, his, his mother name is Isabel. The Morris, the Morris his brother, his mother Spain. name is is Isabel. See, this this be my thing, right? When people be talking. And like, bro, I'm like Kobe Bryant, Floyd Mayweather, bro, because I'm always trying to perfect my craft, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm cool and calm with him, but I just hate when people, I ain't even say that because I understand that's a part of the game, but I'm finna break it down. I'm not saying what I said because it's something I read in the book. I'm not saying something because I'm guessing. I'm not saying something because I'm generalizing. So I'm going to break it down to him. The reason why the information I'm saying is correct. The bill, Zarco. Bloodline. You can't miss when you on Bloodline. Her father's name is Giles Zarco. Later they were under the order of Christ. Her father's name is Giles. 
brother. That's not hey, true. So who would be the white parent? Who would be the white parent? Because his, his mother name, I know, his, his mother name is Isabel. His, brother, his mother name is, is Isabel Zarco. Her father name is Giles Zarco. He was a knight. He was a knight under um, um Henry the Navigator. They were under the Order of Christ. This is the reversion yes, of the uh, Knights of Templars. Pope Dennis the First gave them land in Portugal, and that's where they were stationed at the Tamar down in Portugal. Still there today. That's a uh, a land. So this the line he gonna come through on his his mother Zarco line. This is a forty Jew. Now his mother, I mean his dad, his father is Ferdinand Duke of Beja. Look him up. It's King Alfonso the Fourth or Alfonso the African who fought against the Moors uh, uh, at that time. Uh, and he's also the, the guy that's responsible for the dumb diverser. I should have made this from, uh, and yeah, that's the joke. I the the Papa Bull, dumb diverser, 1452, that's when they sailed to West Africa. They were the first to sail there. Christopher Columbus, Grandpa Giles Zarco would lead the charge. Uh, but hold on, let me play this clip about the black deities in our land. So right here, yeah, uh, talking about the black deity part because when I was talking about like you know they got white deities all throughout Africa, that's a sign of colonization by European. They stole that shit from uh, when the Moors when they when they came and conquered Europe and they left their deities and shit with the, with the black. Yeah, yeah, well, well, I tell you this here then, Lou. Um, mm -hmm. For as how white Jesus get in Europe, it was actually black people took it there. Who were the black people? They were. Man, <laughs> Nah, but watch this here though. On some, so um we have uh so so the AME, somebody got their mic open. So the institute is crazy because it's called African, but it's in London, founded in London. Well anyway, they will go there here to create the friendly society. They'll send a missionary over there named Daniel Coker, C O K E R. Coker will go there, that mission to the field, they'll move on to Liberia at that time. Or uh, the American Colonization Society had came, so the funding was coming behind through the Church Mission Society. Y'all look look them up, and so they created um, they they missions failed, so they end up going. It, it's called the Niger Crada. He his father is European, his mother's African. So the family in Sierra Leone that's going to run it. It was the Bab Macula and Babington Company. Right, and that's Zachary Babylay. They're going to come there from um, Scotland, Jamaica to Sierra Leone. They'll create the Sierra Leone um, school, grammar school, where Zachary will be president. His son, um, Thomas Bagby, will marry um, Aja Crowder's daughter, Abigail Crowder. Now, this is important because um, uh, Aja Crowder is the guy who's going to. Uh, um, help with the language barrier. That's what the Nike Expedition was about. They had a language barrier when they was creating the first colonies. So he's going to help create a syllabary or a writing system in order for them to bring in the colonization. He's the first African bishop. So they're going to bring the Christianity there like they brought the African church. Now, um, you also, and then this is when the missionaries are, are, are going to come in. So um, when they had the the first Af Pan African um, um, association in, um, with Henry Sylvester William, where you had the AME Church there, the uh, Society of Friends, which is the Quaker organization, this these are the people who are going to be instrumental. They're going to bring the language there. Hannah Killham, she was from the Society of Friends. She's going to create the language for the Timnay people there. I um. Uh, you had um, the Hausa language, the Yoruba. Yoruba, all of this is Ajikrata. Now, Abigail and um, um, Thomas, um, she's going to have a baby with um, Maculate, and, and he's <clears throat> their son is going to go on to create Nigeria. He's going to want to bring the politics into Nigeria and also the schools. Now, they, was, they, they went to London, grew up, got taught in London, and got sent back to Africa as missionaries and Sierra Leone was the launching point. So it was actually black people who brought the Christianity there into Africa. It wasn't white people. The Miracle Liberians, they brought the Christianity there. 
They also sent um, Edward Blight in the New York Colonization Society, seeing him later through Henry Knox and them. Henry Knox had created the first Methodist church. AME got their charter from St. George Methodist and created the African Methodist church. So this colonization is still going to go through there. They are the same ones that created the the uh, black church uh, systems here in America. Black folks brought us um, the Christianity, not the white people. So that's why you had an AME church. You also had the Baptists in it, which were the Protestants. Um, that, that's where you create your Baptist system. Down south after 18, 1865, Port Royal experiment, they brought in the Penn School into the Sea Islands. And also that's when they brought in the Christianity. So um, after that, you had uh, um, the Baptist societies and um, so on and so forth. And just like King with the Southern Baptist conventions and all this shit. But now it'll be black pastors. And King come from a family of Protestants that came doing um, uh, Protestants. His whole family priest. His um, grandpa ran the NAACP. Um, uh, yeah, he come from a past, uh, a, a long line of pastors since the 1600s here. And so, um, but let me close on this here with the, with the deities and they gonna let the, let him explain through these cathedrals in, in France. In Spain. All right, I think that's too much, man. I ain't gonna lie. We have this, we have an hour and 35 more minutes left, but that's all I'm gonna give y'all right now, man. I probably drop it on members only or something, but I don't want to get too much bars up. I think that was a little too much. You understand me? Step up, say preach, chief guys. Key to B say Paul Cuffy. Paul Cuffy had that money. Paul Cuffy. Paul Cuffy was a colonizer, but he was a real. If y'all came to the lecture the other night, y'all know we went deep on Paul Cuffy. And um you know, when when I get in the ring with Rob Bourne, he better not bring Paul Cuffey's name up. Nah, that ain't what he want to do, man. Hey, the link in the chat, man, if anybody want to come up, the link is in the chat if anybody want to come up. Let me see. Link in the chat if anybody want to come up. While we're waiting on the panel to open, state writers had access. T. Robinson wrote in the launching of the death of God that the book should be redated. So we have to, he has to break this down. If you take to it from the beginning and then display settings. Um, script or reproduction of an original work such as a letter painting table or dress plagiarize the steal or pass off ideas or words of another one's own as your own so he would have to show where the writers or people of the new testament had this this is called an ancient i'm sorry i got to move this ancient manuscript comparison chart when you look at this chart It'll tell you of all the things that you see. So you have Lucretius died at 55. You have Pelini, you have Plato, uh, date written 427, 347, earliest copy, AD 900. Approximate time in between 1200. When you look at all of these, when you get to the New Testament, date written, first century AD, 50 to 100, earliest. Hey, Shrug, I was going in, huh? I looked down, I said, it was like 300 some people in there. I said, man, let me get up out of here. Nah, 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 man. I, I just, uh, they opened the flow. Flow was open, man. I started going in. I say, man, I'm giving up, man. That last little hour, oh, man, that is not coming up. I probably don't even put the video out. That ain't coming up, bro. Y'all gotta come. Probably put that on the platinum pack or something. Nah, for real. Speaking of lectures, man, for those who didn't get to see the lecture the other day, we doing a run back, um, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Um, we're gonna get started early at 7 p.m. so we can get in, get out, and do an after show. But yeah, we're going back in, man. If you did purchase a ticket, man, then you just get half off on the ticket this time if you want to come back and see it. If you're a member, 
then um you pay the same um you get half off if you're a member i don't care if it's bronze gold whatever platinum vip y'all free y'all up front with me goddamn in the booth his copy second century ad so that's less than any other record that you can find when you look at further, it says there are thousands more New Testament Greek manuscripts than any other ancient writing. The internal consistency of the New Testament document is about 99.5% textually pure. So, Paige, Paige, what's up with it? Uh, we got Empress God is in the building. How you feeling? What's going on, boo? Oh, slow motion, you know me. No, I just uh, decided to just hop up here and, you know, just say hello to you and the family, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I seen you drop the comment, say rainstorm got you. What did you end up eating? You say rainstorm took care of you that day. What you end up getting? Don't tell me about the sack of weed with the with no, the money. No, no, none of your damn business. No, I ain't got me some uh, seafood. Yeah, don't tell me you went about a pack of weed with a sack with it. Got we got three point five. We got we yeah. got off the line. Okay, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> See, that's why I started not to even come up here because your ass be clowning. <laughs> All right, we're going to let you make it tonight. Now nah, we feeling good. We chilling, you know, uh, sipping on some wine. You understand me, man? And uh, it's it, it, smoking on some good flour, man. And, well, you, you know, we just sit back chilling. You dig? You understand me? We okay. come to Georgia. I know you better have your ass out there when we go to the pyramid. I mean, the mounds in Georgia. Where y'all going? Where y'all coming at down here? Uh, we're gonna be stationed in Atlanta. I figured that that's five hours away from me, but I'm gonna try to get there. Okay, okay, we'll figure it out when when we get, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, I'm on, we'll be live. I'm on. I'm on like I'm like on the Georgia Florida line. Okay, okay. Well, we worth it. You know, we worth a five hour trip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a peach. I wouldn't mind seeing y'all. You know, meeting y'all in person. Right on. Yeah, yeah, you was, I was just talking. Y'all was talking about the uh, the New Testament. Josephus wrote, uh, wrote that shit. They have um, this, what's it called? Uh, Caesar. They had him write the damn New Testament. That's who wrote that. Right on. Um. Hey, so what y'all think, family? Y'all want me to drop that uh thirteen colony quiz? It's a course, man. Ooh, we got to get in them classes, man. Uh, we'll knock them down. What's that? 30 lessons. So we'll try to break it down. Maybe like six classes. I think, I think it's almost necessary uh, with the uh, bloodlines of the guys, uh, American Indian Illuminati and tying everything, the families, the bloodlines. I think it would bring a lot more understanding clarity to it because it can be overwhelming if you're not even in you know that paradigm to even be thinking like that yeah especially you're going through 200 300 slides too it's like god damn that's a, yeah, it's <laughs> just had to throw that out there you know two three hundred slides yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah you know light work when last the other day was 185 <laughs> it, it ain't feel like i picked nothing up off the ball you know, 185, that ain't nothing. We ain't put the weights on that bitch yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 185. Uh, yeah, I ain't even recorded, man. I got to stop midway, man. I got, I had too much stuff on my computer, so I got to get that taken care of, man, so I can get that down and wax, and then I want, I need to focus on that, that other bill. But I'm I'm getting I'm almost done with my little PowerPoint for Rob Bourne, so I got my one for Shaka. After I get this out the way, these two little um training camps, and then I'm gonna get in there with Shaka and, and walk to him. And then I want that Tazariak and Rob Bourne, if you still around and y'all wanna talk, you know, y'all on Jerry Maguire. I'm on my Jerry Maguire, you know, y'all gonna have to come on with it and we can get that. But that ought to be a major fight, you know. But um, yeah. So yeah, I got thirty lessons, man, that I can teach on this, and uh, we can talk about the tutors and all of that, and bring understanding to a lot of these places that people, um, like you say, may may need a little clarity in. 
Yeah, and like the, uh, you know, the complexion of these people, like, you know, really breaking down like what all this stuff is. I think that would, you know, because that's a lot of people's pushback, our people, when you try and tell them what the complexion of, of these people are they automatically like resist it because it's so far off from their idea, you know, white supremacy. It's, I think it would help in a lot of different ways, you know, of getting the message and getting people to look at themselves and their family and who they really are. Right on. Not in a good or a bad way. But nah, I feel you. That's what I feel, you know? yeah. Nah, I see what you saying. Hey, anybody want to jump up? The link is in the chat down there. Oh, the link is in the chat. Pull up. It's Friday, man. What y'all got going on, man? What y'all drinking on? What y'all sipping on out there? I ain't sipping on nothing. I'm just smoking me old good fat one. Okay. It ain't no Reggie, huh? Huh? Ain't no Reggie, huh? No, I don't mess with the Reggie meal. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, not that Bobby Brown. He said, uh, Andy Carter said, do the 13 colonies in classes, then do it in book form. Jay Mitch, I That's see you. Fine. Yeah, I'm a, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do it in a book form. Um, I said those from Heineken earlier. For the, they said they on that hen dog out there, Nighthawk and cop on that hen dog. Nighthawk they made an incredible hope. Oh hell no. Nah. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> went throwback. He didn't went throwback on him. He said he fruit. I really just out. came up to be an example, you know, to to uh people who talk, you know, cat, you know, come up here, hit the link. I don't understand people who, who type but don't have time or they not internet niggas, you know. It's like shit's wild. Yeah, I'm, I'm, listening. I'm listening. You know, I learn from everybody because you never get, you never finish learning. You learn until you leave here. Right on. Um, um, peace. Uh, it's Lance Nigger. Uh, What's welcome good, to the panel. Let the family know your name and where you calling from. It's Lance Single, bro. Calling from Detroit. My channel was uh the arguments lead man's cave. I listen to you often. You you know what I'm saying you always got some hot shit. For a long time you was on that the elbow the elbow, and now you still seem like you starting to, you know, mix everybody in. You know, along with the Moors and the Jews, the Israelites. It's like you coming to flourish and everything. One thing but, I heard you hit on. Brother, did you? Okay, no, finish. What'd you say? I was about to say, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, nah, no, nah, it's ahead. okay. It's okay. What I was gonna say is I heard I haven't heard you speak on how the uh how the Indians, the aboriginals of America, got here. Oh, um, well, I think I had that conversation before. Um well the answer to that question will lie in the origin stories of these people. So like my nation have an origin story and the origin story is that we did not come here from anywhere. We actually came from here, from the Americas. Well, now I will have a little problem with that. Just a little pushback if you don't mind. Um, Go ahead, brother. You're on, you're on the show. The Indians couldn't have always been here because most of America was underwater except from the Mississippi up through Canada on the Florida side. So okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. You say you say Florida and Mississippi together? No, I'm saying I'm saying much of America was underwater. Okay, before we get into that, brother, I, I heard you say something when you first came in. Did you say you run an all um a, a, a male? Did you say you run an all male group? <laughs> nah, the arguments lead. It's a man's cave. It's just basically right, you know, right, right. Okay, that's what I'm talking hear, about. So. Men's health and history, and you know, basically anything. And so you're talking know. to like other boys about like it's just all men in there, all boys. No, it's just me. 
Yeah, I'm the Arctic Men's League man. Can't oh, you being there by yourself? Oh, okay. Yeah, I be in there by myself, bro. All right, all right. What's, okay, I ain't gonna ask you what you're doing there, but now nah, I'm listening. You had any other questions? What, what were you, what were you getting to? So, the my understanding of how the Indians, not the the five dollar Indian, we know them. We talking about the real Indians, the black ones. A lot of them came here by way of the Aeon Straits. They was once part of the Mongolian Empire of under Genghis Khan. Where these was there's these was Israelites, the ten tribes. Oh, Genghis Khan was is was from Israel. No, Genghis Khan, he led. They was in his army. They was a part of his military. How they meet him? So when you read a, uh, you probably ain't read it. I know you. Uh, when the Jews was kicked out of uh, Israel by way of Assyria. They went what, to a land. What year called, was this, brother? 722, I think. Okay, is this the Apocrypha? You referencing this out of? 722 BC. No, this history. I'm actually referencing history. Okay, no problem. So you say, um, what year again, brother? Or are you? I'm thinking 722 BC when Assyria... Uh, yeah, but you don't get paid to think. You get paid to know. So, I don't get paid that. I don't get paid so, nothing. This so, is just, for um for clarity to the audience, um, can you help us out with the date? Or, or we can move on. And you can just say I'm not sure about a date. Well, I, I I think I did 722 BC. I, I think I gave you a date. Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah, I'm almost sure of it. Almost don't count. I, I heard a singer named Brandy say that. <laughs> so what are we doing? You either know oh. or you don't know, brother. All right, so I, maybe I don't know, but okay, I'm all thank you. Sure. That helps. That helps. Okay, right. so so um they go to Russia. Russia is a place is a Azareth is in a place called Russia. So in the Bible, well, that's in Asia actually. Russia is a part of Asia. In that in that day, it was called Tartary. The whole entire upper portion was called Tartary, and the Israelites played a big port a big part of that um in the development of that that's where your Byzantine empire come in from okay what was one of these israelite guys what what year was this again i'm sorry that the now russia we, now, we moved, now, now we moved further on and now we in 1100 when you're saying that's, we who is we brother i'm sorry we're all together i'm telling the story about who help me out about the israelites being okay the israelites is there any particular tribes or nation yeah the tribe of naphtali the tribe of simeon the tribes of Dan. Okay, and, and what uh, do we find his information, brother? Well, you can read it in the uh, travels of uh, Marco Polo. You can read it in. Uh, oh, let me bring up. I got a couple of references on that. And these are these guys going into Russia. You say the Israelites went into Russia. This is okay. The Russian icons. Okay. All right. So we're in Russia now. What's going? What's taking place, buddy? So Azareth. Azareth is the farthest portion from Ru of Russia of upper Asia and it's right across man it's the same distance as the as 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 Detroit is from Canada across the uh the uh Michigan Lake Lake Michigan and so they and meet the a brother and they meet a brother by the name of Genghis Khan you say no nah, they don't meet him that's, when, that's he grew okay up, so he grew up in that he Genghis Khan came up no problem brother my, yeah, okay let me go back to the, the question arm. okay so you brought us all the way to you took us to the first Empire to make taller. Oh, was Mongolian. You took yeah, us to yeah, the first, yeah. the first people to make taller house. We've been in Russia. Nah, nah, okay, nah. my question was, how did these guys meet Genghis Khan? He be, he came up in the ranks. He became their leader. He became well, because so Genghis but Khan. Hold on, hold on brother. You just told me they didn't meet <laughs> Genghis Khan because I just asked you how did they meet him. You said they didn't meet him. Well, the Israelites was in the land before Genghis Khan was a little boy. Before he was born, they was already there. And they're they, in Russia. What what is this place called in Russia? Azareth. Okay, Azareth. Yes. Azareth. Okay. Okay. Keep going. So they established a whole empire there, um, and then they move across. They move across the Straits of Aeon, which is called the Bering the Bering Straits today, and they they um, set up in kingdoms in Alaska. It wasn't snow there yet. 
according to the maps that I have. Okay, so they're going to leave Russia and go to Alaska according yeah, to they, your maps. Can we see yeah, a picture they, of this map? Do you have any pictures of it? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you mind screen sharing and helping us follow along through your sources? Because I, I think I heard you say that you have a lot of sources on this. Yeah, yeah, I do, brother. Okay, do. so do you know how to screen share, brother? Are you familiar yeah. with screen sharing? I am. Let me... Okay. um. Bring up the sources for you. Bring down some of these windows that I have up. Oh, you're a scholar, scholar. You got a lot of information there. What you were studying over there? Uh, I was about to put put a whoop on Chris Chris head about the European um European Jews that ruled. He lacked the information of knowing that they come through Zara Judah, the twin of Perez, which is Perez line is the king is the King David line that end up getting. That ended up getting cut off when Nebuchadnezzar killed King Zedekiah. You talking about King David or uh, Jonathan boyfriend? Yeah, whatever. The one was fucking Jonathan. Uh, I don't know, but whatever. King David. Um, you talking about that, Saul? Saul put a hit out on, put money on his head. Yeah, that nigga. Because he was fucking his his son, like Richard Pryor and Paul Mooney. I don't know. I don't know. That don't even matter. What's in the Bible? What's in the Bible? Yeah, that, that I mean, Bible I mean, no are you? Yeah, if y'all read the Bible, then I mean, the most gangster nigga from y'all said ate another nigga dick, and his daddy had to put a money bag on his head because the nigga was fucking his son. Could have hurt his hurt his own um, popularity, fucked up the family name. But I'm listening. We're listening. Oh. Uh... Are you a Hebrew? Hebrew? Are you a Hebrew Israelite by chance, brother? By blood. Oh, I'm yeah. Not, I'm, you, not so no, you're I'm not in Hebrew no. Yeah, I'm not in no. Okay. In do no. you worship the God of the Bible? Is the God of the Bible your your God? The God of the Bible? No. The your, God the, the God of the Bible is that God, your God? The God of heaven and earth. The God of heaven is that the one that they reference in the Bible? By chance? Uh, in the Old Testament. In the Torah. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah, in the Torah. Okay. So um okay, so do you believe in the curses of the Israelites? I believe they went through that shit already. So do, so you do believe that God that the Israelites were disobedient to God and he and he cursed them. I believe they failed to a curse, yes. Uh, can you help the audience out with what exactly curse that these guys, um, how they fell out of favor with, 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 with their God? Well, brother, it happens in several different phases. If you're looking for me to say that Deuteronomy 28, Jones, I don't agree with that totally. It did, this is some of them, it happened, but not to all of them at the same time. None of the Israelites went into all, some Israelites didn't go into no captivity. You had a group of Israelites that left before um, before the captivity in Egypt. They had already established places in Ireland and in Troy and in the Celtics and all of that. So in Scandinavia. So it was Israelites in these places that had nothing to do with what those with Judah, Benjamin and Levi went through. The 10 tribes didn't have nothing to do with that. Now, the 10 tribes went to the north. And they uh, they established. um because it said in the, in the scripture it said they went to went to a land where no man had yet dwelt that they might keep the laws that they couldn't keep in their own land. Which and what were those those laws that they broke that 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 angered their God? Take what no made them take no other God? Um, they worship other gods. That's what they basically did. Okay, they, so they got into paganism and um, worship other gods. Now. He, he Israelites are generally henoistic. They, they believe that there are other gods, but they only worship one god, right? And then you will find no, I'm asking. Of... Did you ask me? They, they curse that they broke, they made him um, destroy the world. They, they worship other gods. So it had nothing about um to do with anything about boy on boy. It, it was it, to me, to be honest with you, bro, it's everything. The entire the same thing that we do today. 
It was all of the uh, same. Well, I, brother, I don't know how you live in. Fuck niggas in the ass. I don't run trains on niggas. Out, they ran Come trains on people. Yeah, the Israelites did yeah, a lot of they, shit. They, they drank blood. They drank yeah, the blood Israelites. Was, yeah, they was drinking blood. They was running trains. They did a lot of shit. And, the, and, they, and they go and say, I am not having it. So, so, so the ultimate curse. The uh, Israelites go and destroy the earth was that they were doing mail on mail. They were running trains on men, and he had to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of this behavior. And so when he, his Israelites go around and say that we're cursed people, they like the, us to think that you know that they stole a cookie out the cookie jar or something that you know didn't bring a a, a, a report card home because they had an F on it. Nah, nah. The truth of the matter, when we read the story correctly, is that they got caught down there doing mail on mail action, and God, their God, um, um, destroyed the whole world because of the actions of the Israelites. Your uh, your forefathers. So, <clears throat> the the niggas did everything. They they did a lot. Like today. They were sucking dick, and God didn't like that. They were sucking other men dick, and God they, ain't they, like that. They ate. They sacrificed their children. They ate babies. They they did everything that's fucked up, just like heathens, just like regular motherfuckers. Yeah, he had to get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. I don't see. That's why I know. I don't. You know that whole that generation. Mother, that whole generation. Yeah, that whole generation. generation. What about the new generation? Well, they still be uh, in the media for doing that shit now, don't they? Yeah, and then they be having like all men clubs. They be having like all boy clubs, the Israelites. And it's like, damn, don't y'all know God already gave y'all a case? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do he know? Maybe that's why the 300,000 people haven't cracked the sky yet because they still having all male camps and they just want to be around all men all the time. Well, that that's that's Christianity right there you're talking about, that part. No, that part. I'm talking about Hebrew Israelite, Israelism. 300 people cracking the sky is not. Well, I'd rather believe in 300 people cracking the sky than busting boy booties and eating babies. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, already, it's like, these people are, this is, a, this is before the middle way. This is old. This is, what do you mean? Way it's back like in the day. Be, Israelite camps be in the media of fucking boys now and doing all kind of weirdo shit. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing changed. Well, yeah, think, it's like, it's like, okay, answer me this. Uh, if you were God, okay, since you're Israelite, you you could play God today. Uh, if you already had to destroy, you, you left out, brother. And these brothers still that again. You, back. You're cutting out. You, you left out. Okay. Um. So let's let's take you. You play God for the day. So you're the God of the Bible. And these in and, and these Israelites, you make a cardinal rule. No one breaks this rule in the family. No sticking your dick in board. And they go out and sneak behind his back as if he don't sit high and look low. And they back there. When he looking low, they back there eating dick, running threesomes, um, all male on male action. And so he destroys the world. And so when we look up in 2023 and the Israelites today, the prophecies to be Yahweh and the 300 angels to come back and crack the sky. As you playing God, brother, would you be able to trust these guys that they have changed from the ways that you already made you destroy the world already? Um, would you believe that they are not into those activities and you should come down and save them there and create the new kingdom of Israel? Or um yeah is it like a probation that he got them on because they still having all male groups and hangouts and big camps full of men they don't want no women allowed Um, uh, you know brother it is my brother there they always with another nigga when you see him uh what do you say about that brother if you was to play god would you be able to trust them or would you think they're still or uh, into the ways of their ancestors well this is your show so I'll lend to the entertainment. We can't assume that thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of men was gay, sucking dick, 
when it's been thousands and thousands and thousands in the of Bible, born, thousands Bible of babies. These niggas had 10,000 for 10,000 horsemen, 50,000 archers. But like they probably went possibly both ways, believe, brother. Yeah, they... You can't possibly believe the entire nation of niggas was gay. Let's like assuming that shit today. Well, I say this here, brother. God to destroy. Yeah, yeah. What, it was, I mean, yeah, it, the number, the number, yeah, hey, well, it was one too many for God. For Yahweh, no, no, no. I say that. Yeah, that, 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 was, that, was, that was that was that was that was one too many cases on the Israelites for God. When you when you speak of Sodom and Gomorrah, that's a separate people than the Israelites. All of them did it. Jonathan, um, David fucked Jonathan, the most gangster nigga out of the Bible. Uh, had a foul with Jonathan. Had a, a bag put on his head because he they had to put burglar bars on the window. The nigga all in the window. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't. I can't tell you that. I don't know. But you talking about millions of millions of niggas that's just gay? I can't believe. No, I, it's not. I'm not saying that, brother. I'm saying that it was one too many for their god, and he Correct. he was sick of it. Pissed him off so much, he nigga destroyed the whole world. So now everybody in the world got to suffer because the Israelites in the back closet. Thanking God, don't sit high and look low. You understand me? And well, they back to no, no. Yeah, they the at what point point. are you? What point are you speaking on? Like, where? At what point? The like, point where, where? When did you said when did God? You said so these dudes was gay, and then God destroyed the world because the hey, try not to say that word. We try to say another yeah. word for that. Yeah. The G yeah. word or something. The G word, the G word, brother. Don't say the G. But okay. did, but then, <laughs> but then you agree that it happened. I mean, you left it out. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah, worshiping yeah. other gods, but I mean, you conveniently left it out. But then you agree that it happened, right? I mean, well, that's not the first thing that comes to mind when I think about but, a nigga sitting against God. I'm not thinking about that because that's not in my paradigm. I'm not. But you agree not, it happened. I, but I. But so to know to be, to, real, the to be realistic. I would have to assume that, yeah, that including that too. Well, I think that was the that was the crime because that was the last thing they did when he ended the world. That was the last draw. When that happened, he he said, "You know what?" Because see, he a jealous guy. He he want to fight over hoes, and you know what I'm saying. He want to he wanted them. Oh uh, yeah, he 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 going through the bitch phone and. Looking at the mileage on the car, and you know, gauging the distance and the time frame of her running to the grocery store and back. Yeah, he you know, good question. Speak, I think, please, like, please, please. you know, if you if you God ended the world, you know, it's like your parents. Like I whipped your ass yesterday. I came home, you had dick balls all over the room. Now I come home today, and you had dick balls all over the goddamn. Got a boy in my back room. Yeah, got a boy in the, the house. Fuck? All right, you can't so, get enough. Who is that boy in the back room I'm talking about y'all study, going reading the Bible? Nah, yeah, nah, nah. Pissed him off so much he destroyed the whole area. I'm trying to figure out why our ancestors had to go through the flood and all that. We got to get boats and rafts and live on mounds because these niggas can't keep a dick out their booty or out their mouth <laughs> over there. The misery, like, boy, that's cold, man. Make you again. And, and then, then come the tell everybody. Shit. That the Lord we are we are cursed because we disobeyed God. Well, let's tell. Won't y'all tell everybody what how y'all disobeyed him? Caught you in the back room. Oh, uh, what the fuck y'all talking about? Got caught in the back room, man. Yeah, who man, there? them Israelites. Nigga, stop that shit, man. You an Israelite, nigga. What's that? I'm about, trying I'm to put your I'm punishment on me. It is what it is, King. I thought you say you. I thought you say you was Indian. Take your curses. I am an Indian, ain't no Israelite. Yes, he was. Yeah, are. Yes, he was. I'm about to show you. <laughs> he I'm about, to, he about to show me. <laughs> you, better be you see how you're talking about your people, man. You, you well, man, man you know, you you know, people, bro. Y'all know y'all, y'all. Come on, man. You know y'all can force me to come on this thing. I'm, I'm screaming some shit like that, man. Bro, them people ain't my people, man. Them people, God. We got, so, we had different gods. And you goose creek, you ain't Israel. So here you go. Nigga, so you white. You ain't even, what are you talking about? We know we ain't talking about you. And you gotta share it, bro. You saying you up? All right, so here's one book. Right? Here's another book. Right. I just took snippets just to show some of my Facebook friends. We can start with what are the ruins revisited and the world story retold written in 1887. Blend, blend, blend. 
Hold on. He said, show him. Yes, right. sir. In January 1879. Now, hold on, hold on. Before you get started, what are you reading from for I the audience? Showed, I just well, showed the book. Help us out. The, Tell us the name. What the was the Ruins name? Revisited and the World Story Retold, written in 1887. Okay, who wrote this? Uh, a, a missionary, a, a Moravian missionary. And I did see revised too. So. I try to help you. Oh, this is the revised version, the remix. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they took all the good shit out, huh? Yeah, yeah. We studied um, over here. We you know. yeah, it don't matter. It is, I'm just showing you that it's coming from the archives. All right. I did download it and I snipped. In January 1887, it was revealed to me that the Mongolians are the tribes of Israel, this great nation which in the days of Genghis Khan conquered Asia. Under the date March 9th, 1887, Mr. Corset writes, I believe that all Tartar tribes, like the former Americans, are of the children of Israel. The Mongols and Tibetans have a peculiar interest in me because of this belief. You can go to the next one. Brother, right. but we're not Mongolians, brother. Hold on. I'm going to show you that the black people was called Mongolians. They, the Afro-Asiatics was called Mongolians. It didn't brother, matter. We're not Afro-Asiatic either, though, brother. Okay, wait a minute. I'm just showing but see, you that the thing though, the same people that called Mongolians went over there to Asia. They came well, yeah. back. Well, the yeah. Mongolians today ain't the Mongolians of the old age. The Mongolians yeah. of the old age look like Karite Jews. They look like um, Brasha people. I show you a picture of them in a minute. Where are you getting this information, brother? I'm, I'm showing you the books, bro. I'm showing you. Okay, no, no, no. I'm talking about what you just brought up. Okay, what do we have on the screen? Walk us through it. All right, the library. Hey, hold on. Let me say this here. Hey, y'all, if y'all want to jump on the panel, the link is at the top, man. I'm finna run a wild more than get me some butter pecan ice cream, man. So. Oh, you going to Walmart? No, you don't say that was slick shit. Now you going to Walmart? <laughs> I'm, I'm still be on though. I'm just gonna be on my phone. Oh, you got yeah, to the with cars, uh, walnut, and a damn um the syrup. So if y'all gonna get on the panel, come on, get on right now. Yeah. And Lance, 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 this not your lane, bro. All right, go ahead, Lance. This is my lane. Yes, it is. Go ahead, Lance. Turn up. Just, just stay. Rabbi from Eli usually called the Danite from his belonging, as he alleged, to the tribe of Dan. Only 38 generations of his descent from Jacob. He undertook a pilgrimage in the quest of his brethren, the lost tribes, for the purpose of visiting and preaching to them. In a letter of dispersion addressed to the Jews of Spain, bearing the date of 1283, and published at Paris in the year 1563, he declares that he discovered the remnant of Israel in the region of Tartary. Tartary is Russia, Asia. What, 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 what that, hold on, like, hold on, it's further. Hold on, I'm, I'm reading, reading it for you to see that this is the only way you can get the information. Hey, hold on, him, let, him, let him get it out. He cool. Let him get it yeah, out. Yeah, if I say, if I say, if y'all say, if I tell you on talking points, you're gonna say, show me. So I, I deal with niggas on Facebook all the time. So I just snip little parts of books that I read and I show you the book that I got it. Like I'm going through the books. These are my actual books, like my, my PDF. Brother, just, just stay focused and come on. Yeah, all right. Yeah. The 10 tribes migrated gradually, some in the directions of the Capians, others beyond the borders of Media and Persia, apparently eastward in the direction of Chinese Tartary. The tribes of Simeon, Ephraim, and Manasseh are represented to have settled in the Caspian in the country of the Khazar Tartars. So the Khazars were converted by the Israelites. All right, Israelite redo or restoration of Israel. This written in 1584, exhibited in two short treaties. The first contains an essay upon some probable grounds that the presence of Tartar, the present Tartars near the Caspian Sea are posterity of the 10 tribes of Israel. Another one, the relations of the most famous kingdoms, 1611. Those Tartars who are far situated from the residual and certain writers affirm that they are the hordes issued from those 10 tribes of Israel, which were sent in captivity by Solomon, Solomon, Solomon Nassar, king of Assyria, beyond the Caspian Mountains, the Caspian Mountains, in the, re in the remembrance whereof, until this day, they retain the names of their tribes and the tribes of the Hebrews and the circumcision, 
and other rites, they follow the fashions of the Tartarians. And here it is. This is Russia, old Tartary. This land right here is Azareth. This is where they went to. Oh, I can't enlarge it no more. But I got a whole map of this. And this land right here, Azareth, from here, they went to well, a place where no man yet settled. From here, they established kingdoms. All of these red things is their kingdoms. This is a map from 1570. And this right here is Alaska. So all they did was cross over this right here. This freeze over sometime. They crossed over and they, they set up other kingdoms. It's the map, it continues. It's a big ass map. And they got other red portions, teepees, which are actually, that's how they, they were, they were um, nomads. That's how they moved around. They would set up elaborate silk, outer silk, all type of fur type teepees, and that's how they got down. And these Tartars. That nigga's an they, Indian. He know what a teepee is. <laughs> right. right. These, these Tartars, it see the narrow it passage of the Euphrates. Would you want me to not show the brother? No, it, here you go. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get to him. All right. The narrow passage of Euphrates, where the Most High then wrought marvels for them, for he held back the sources of the river until he had passed over, and they might proceed to the dry land. It was a great way to go, a journey of a year and a half. That region was called Azareth, Asphra, at the end of the world. And they have dwelt there until the last time. And then, so that's called Azareth, the end of the world. Let me show you again. Right here. Hey, hold is on. The I have end. a question, brother. I have a question, right? Um, what tribe would this be that this particular tribe that this guy is speaking of? It's, it's, so. Again, he named Ephraim, the, the book's name, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon. The map says all of those names, including Naphtali. Naphtali, Dan, and uh, one more. One more, but it's, it hey, could be more names. Sister, I didn't... Do you know the sister Naphtali? Yeah. yeah you familiar Lord. with the sister Naphtali? Uh uh. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, so, uh, what tribes would these people be today? That right there, I could not tell you. But what I can so tell you is that. Hold on. Let me tell you. Let me continue this. Hold on. Okay. Let me continue. The um, the I, I did read in another book, and give me a second. I'll remember where it is and where where my quote is, where it come from. But the um, the the Israelites came to America and brought with them the Amazonian women of Tartar, and they established a kingdom in, Ca in California, which at the time was an island. Her name is uh, Khalifa. And they and so those Amazon Amazons were also black women, tall black women. They were also Indians, known as Indians. I read like three books on Khalifa, actually. Um, she was actually a... a she was against like was she a like, yellow bone or red bone or she was dark she was a dark-skinned woman she was a chocolate woman how you yeah. like it? how you like it? Hey, what man, flavor you like you better start missing it and just stay in the bed like i was what brother hold on i got more information i'll be like the real the real real books you know oh shit. yeah let us get the real you know, we don't want I mean, we this this is this your show, bro. Like, this is a lot of information, like this to be reading books. You good, you good. But anyway, as I was gonna do in my show, these are the people that were the those, these are the people. See, it says what uh, people, okay. What's the name of that the was uh, that came over here? What's the Look, name I'm of the people? I'm about to I'm about to show you. So they're not from here. They came over here. Yeah, the land was there. Here. What was the land from? was promised to them? It was the it promised was. land. So listen, so, but where were they from? What were these people you speaking about? Where were so, they from? Listen, listen. They came over here. The, the the Jews got to America several different ways. That one way that I just told you by way of Tartary. Okay. And they established the whole West Coast fully. And Indian what year was it? Um, I want to give it to you uh, around about twelve eighty three. Okay, and so where were people in America at that time when they got here? 
Yeah, yeah, it was. It was okay. here. It was people already here. I'm about to show you the Portuguese in 18. Hold on, not 1883. The Portuguese didn't get here till uh 1654 or something, right? Somewhere around there. The Portuguese came with some Israelites in 1654. But the Portuguese were Israelites, you know, the ones that had the bread to come over here, and I can show you that. No, nah, well, no, nah, brother. I'm just interested in these people that you just brought up. I'm trying okay. to see how. Yeah. Okay. Talk so about those guys. Listen, listen to the source. These, these are the people, the bickerous children. She, you know, a couple of brothers look like that. All right. You know, a couple of brothers Two. look like what? I don't. I don't. Oh, I'm not cool. sharing. Nah. Oh, my bad. My bad. I thought I was sharing. Brother, um, you've been up here for about 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, and we still are failing to understand. So can you bring out the good shit, as you, as you would say? Uh, do you mind bringing the good shit out so we can, we can get into some of that? Maybe that'll help us better understand. Yeah, is he a part of a debate league? Like, no, like, I used to be part of Solar Vision Debate League, but I oh, took a year oh, off. Okay, 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 okay. So are you just now coming back now? You say you took a No, a no, year no, off? I, I, ain't, I ain't coming back at nothing. I'm just still <laughs> studying. <laughs> you took a year off to study, you say, right? <laughs> I mean, no, not to study, to actually, you know, I'm in the medical field, bro, and my hours was, you know, 12, 12 hours, four days a week, and then give me okay. the, a lot of time for that. Hey, hold on, time watch out. Who is it? Somebody say something. Hey, your mic. Hey, hold on, your mic is messed up. If somebody saying something, we don't understand you, brother. Your microphone is, is tripping. All right, Brother Lance, what do we have on the screen, brother? Uh, uh, and I'm kind of laying fine. your plane. So whatever you're going to get, make sure this is what you needed to bring uh, full understanding. Because we're confused, brother. Brother Lance, we are still in the dark. You're in the dark. I'm sorry, yeah, sure. It was, it was kind of, you kind of asking me on the, on the spot. So it kind of threw me off a little bit. Well, you I mean, just stated you were part of a debate league. I mean... So yeah, I can give you talking points, but you want me to show you things. Correct. We love sources, and yeah. you know, yeah. So, and you said so. Are you still sticking with the understanding that <laughs> Hebrews are Indians? And that's where the showing right, things so, comes so from. Hold on. Like two it. sources. Two sources <laughs> stated that the the Tardars are just like the Americans from the tribe of Israel. I, two sources stated that. Two two uh, Christian um, two Christians um, brought forth that idea. You know that was just his opinion. A Christian was the one who gave yeah, over the term Indian. Though. The the Christians are Israelites. That's the ten tribes. And so are the Indians. This is why Paul the is Christian. writing to Asia. <laughs> the Paul is writing to Asia. <laughs> Paul is writing to Asia. What year was this? Are, those are the ten tribes. No problem. What year was Paul right in the age, brother? Shit, uh, I would if I was to take a guess, I would say it around about. Take uh, a guess, brother. You yeah, I'm, not a, I'm not a Christian. I'm not. I'm not a Christian. No All problem. I know is about okay. And then so not only that, so you know that we shouldn't say things that we can't prove. So not only that, um, times times is different. Like it ain't. It's there's no solid time period, time frame. Man, We've seen man. that they change. Brother, time. brother, do you have a do you have a birthday? Do you know the day you were born on? Yeah, I do know the day because that I was, it was born recorded. On. So, yes, if Paul was here and he wrote, things were being recorded. How do we know we have Paul writings? So, so here's, yeah, here's, we would need a we would need someone that help so us here's, out. Here's the thing: a lot of Paul writings shows up after he's dead, right? Maybe he wrote them, maybe he didn't. Uh, second, second, second thing you said. <laughs> the second thing you said is, um, when I first came on, is that God destroyed the earth. Right. And if we if we're going to stick to that narrative that God destroyed the earth, then there's nobody to take history. There, there's no books to be written in. And, and then when they're finally 
set up there's somebody to read that to disseminate that information of the of the past and then they were finding books like the people who didn't have the bible all of our life from the time of uh, moses and them they the books were lost and then they were found how were they lost the earth was destroyed this is why you got cities on top of cities whole building structures up underneath and you, if you look at those buildings they have arches and pillars which represents a phoenician structure the brother. come on brother you're naming a lot of people man let's try to stick in one spot and you didn't yeah you name a lot of people to be talking about indians which you're generalizing in because you couldn't give us a tribe, brother. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's actually they it's many it's so many names of tribes because sons have sons and become tribes. Okay, no problem, book, brother. We just stay. We'll move on. We'll come back to you. All right. Uh, who we have? Anybody? Who was next? I'll just type it in. Yeah. All right. Who was next? Somebody can grab a mic. Yeah, popping off. I got a question. Yo, yo peace to the chat. Peace, peace. Turn it one time. What you got for us? What's going on, fam? How you doing? Ah, oh, man, slow motion better than no motion. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, man, just checking up. You know what I mean? Just seeing how y'all doing, man. Just holding right, down. Right, right. What's up, sister Divine? What you got for us, sis? Uh, I'm just chilling with y'all. Just came to introduce myself. See how you guys is doing, brothers and sisters. Just wanted to welcome myself. Right on, right on. Get, get, get with the build. Get with the build. Where you from, sis? You don't mind me asking. Um, I was born in uh Seattle, up in Washington, but I'm down here in St. Louis. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be out there uh, next year. We're going to the mounds out there on um, Cahokia. So, yeah, oh. yeah, if you're still around, come pull up on us. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be here. I've been here now for like eight years. Okay, for sure. You see the book, Top Cat? Uh, we'll we get back to you in a second, brother. Just get all your sources or whatever you need together, and we'll, 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 be, we'll be right with you. All right. Uh, we have, uh, who else we have on the panel? David Taylor, what's up with it? FBA family said I was over to you. Gang, gang. Back hey, yo. Um, I, I, well, I'm, I'm going to wait till you get back to the to the brother with the sources, man, because I saw something very interesting with, with the Bob, source. bring it up. Come on with it. Oh, uh, fuck it. Giles, uh, Giles Fletcher. So Giles Fletcher is a uh, – he's an allegorical poet. You notice that he's not – this is not like – first-hand information he's getting from the tribes themselves you know he ain't never been in any these different places and uh he's a cleric you know a cleric is a fucking preacher you feel what i'm saying so yeah you're gonna find a lot of times where you know people with no story themselves they will get a bible and they'll start to create fictitious stories out of the out of nowhere because you know that's their agenda they're they're preachers and poets Bro, that was so. Bro, seven, you wrote seven, me seven. a poem. What you think this is? Psalms? Bro, that was six or seven sources. It said the same thing, but this, is this, this Psalms, brother? Why did pretty, you read pretty, pretty. Poem? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Psalms? Or something? Psalms, yeah. You think he's solid, man, nigga? What's going on? Pretty much, man. Pretty much. That's Giles Fletcher, man. He is known for that shit. Like, just creating. You know, you get a story and you you want to make it real to a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So. You know, which, 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 which one you said is Giles Fletcher? Because when I don't you started going either. into the Tartar information, um, that's Giles Fletcher. Oh, the um, 1854 joints. Yeah, when you start going into 10 tribes, you ain't got no name of a nigga <laughs> in the tribe. You, you know, that, that type I, I of shit. Right name there. I did name them. This, the names are on the map. I, I said when you don't have a name of a person in the tribe that you don't interact with. That's what that's what you're getting is allegorical information. It's poetry. Uh, it's cute. These, these are actual people that went there, such as Mr. Corset. Such the as, nigga who wrote the the nigga who wrote the book is Giles Fletcher. That's who you're talking about. He's the well, one. He, like, well, what Giles Fletcher did was write from what was written about. <laughs> 
those people. And he wrote it in Who allegorical he sourcing from? Who so, was he sourcing? Right. So he had a... Uh, I don't know who his, his actual source is. It's at the end of his book. It's at the Come end on, of the book. Come on, brother. So you don't know who he sourced. I got a question, man, because y'all said y'all said something about the children of Israel were gay or some shit like that, and God cursing because they've been jumping in dollars in windows and shit like that. What source you got for that? The Bible. Where that come from? That was the Bible. No, where in the Bible? Where in the Bible? Yeah. So basically, y'all got no source to say that though. Hold on, I'm in wild boy, bro. So yeah, I told you what a source is. Source in the Bible, bro. Do yeah, you know the Bible story? Don't say that, are you, okay? Are you familiar, I don't say that. Okay, are you familiar with the story of Jonathan and David, brother? Yeah, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. So what happened with them? What happened? Oh, them boys are cool now, but it's with shit. Ain't nothing happened with them. David, been at, David really was supposed to be taking over his dad's um, position. And what so dad felt some kind of way about David being around. Oh, yeah? Did he catch yeah. him in his house? Did he put burglar boys on his window? Say it again? Did he have to put burglar boys? Did he catch him in the house? Did listen, he catch him boy in the house? No, listen, answer me this. Was did, he, not did, he, good, did he tell did he tell him to stop coming? Did he did he did he ban him from coming around his house and seeing his Yeah, son? but yeah, because yeah, but well, that's because him and Jonathan McCool, although Jonathan knew that Dave was supposed to take his daddy position. And daddy felt some kind of way about that. How cool were they? You said they were cool. How cool were they? I don't know, I guess like you and Shrugs. No, because um <laughs> you know David David uh <laughs> David, uh, he whipped in uh, Jonathan Arms. And peace, peace, peace. Mic check. We here. I think oh. Cash uh, fell off. Oh, true. Nigga in the ice cream aisle. Okay, okay, okay. We had a conversation before. I thought you were gonna bring some sources up about that. But all that shit, y'all talk about, man, that shit didn't happen. The boy would not gay. You get stoned to death. You can't be gay in an Israelite amongst the Israelites. That's why the Israelite brethren up here agree that that's why God destroyed the world? That and uh, no, that's not why God destroyed the world. That's not what I said. Other gods. That's, no, no, ain't nobody said that. Top cat said that, and you rule whatever Top cat said. But can y'all? I don't know y'all always talk about source up. But can y'all show that? Can y'all show that? Can y'all show that? Hey, hold on. So with no problem, brother. I can show that with no problem. Hot dog. Let's get to it. Man, I'm in Walmart, bro. You know that. And if you know the story, you just admitted that he ain't yeah, got no the boy story. By that the didn't house. happen. That didn't you happen. Just, you just admitted he ain't want the boy by the house. Yeah, but I told you why I didn't want him by the house, though. It ain't I had nothing to do with the boy fucking. Yeah, but that ain't true, King. If you actually read that story, you a scholar. You know you I know how to read. I yeah, you ain't come up with that, though, King. Somebody told you that. Bro, ain't nobody told me that. I know how to read, bro. I wouldn't put him. Pull it, I so him. Whenever, whenever we get here. back in the spot, whenever we get back in the spot, let's pull okay, up Samuel. Answer. They pull answer. up book of Samuel to get to the story and find out what that happened. Answer me this here. Did, that. did did David say he loved Jonathan more than um he loved his wife? I don't recall that, but I know okay. I know he fucked with each other. Like well, I said, same way you and fuck with each other. So if that's in there, so if that's in there, even that don't make the motherfucker gay. Though, it don't, don't. Okay. No hell no, they don't make them gay. Well, let me ask you this here. Um, what about when he wept in his arms naked? Thank you. Man, you gotta understand what you gotta look up the etymology of naked and understand what it mean by that, man. Whoa, it's done work quite time, a few time, times. Bro. Time yeah. Now you said I need to do what? What? How many words? What else other word do naked mean? Man, the word naked bro, is a transliteration. Yeah, but that's a transliteration from the original Hebrew game. 
You have to transliterate it. I mean, what's because the there was no word. word. Listen, man, dab, it's a Hebrew what, word. What was it? Dab? Did he give him um, dab? Did he, did, he, did he lock up a gang sign with him? Yeah. What <laughs> other <laughs> word? Yeah. Yeah. What? I'm gonna stop Tell me that. You dare Listen, Bubba. When we start talking about transliterations, that means there's no word that's really equivalent to that Hebrew word. So they use a word, I mean, that, that, that's as close as they can get to it. And there were people trying to literate the word. talking with Saul. And Jonathan became one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. From that day, Saul kept David with him and did not let him return to his father's house. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off his robe. <laughs> he was Got a nigga. And gave it to David. Turn the lights down low. And light a candle. Yeah, listen, they, was man. they was fucking in them old army. No, the fuck they was. King, listen. They if they had old army. Like that, God would have uh, killed them. David Ruffin. The All most the high. Isley brothers. Yeah, they had old army. <laughs> 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 the greatest hits. <laughs> yeah, the most high would curse their ass. They were both of them would die behind them. That's why you cursed. What do you mean? That's what the conversation was. That is why. That's what. No, that's no, no, it's not. You said no, it's not. That's exactly what the No, 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 there was niggas, know what I mean, that I fuck with. I would have oh, died for these niggas. I don't niggas would have got there and died for me. Get back, let him talk, let him talk. You say what? And niggas, <laughs> I mean, there was niggas in the street that I used to fuck with. <laughs> and knowing niggas I would have died for, would have died for me. Right That's just real nigga shit. See, now, so people have some kind of connection to the street. See, you got to be outside sometimes. Once you go outside, you would notice that people outside don't think the same way Brother, as y'all think in your living room. I'm 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 an outside type of guy. Right, so, so, so you trying to tell me so you trying to tell me there was nobody you ever when you came up you fuck bro, with that I ain't never dropped it. I ain't never dropped it. I ain't got no goddamn nigga, man. That nigga ain't did that I shit never, either. I ain't never all up it and <laughs> dropped that road face <laughs> out the shower on the nigga. I don't want that, none of my nigga. I don't know what he talking about. Man, listen, nigga, that nigga, nigga ain't did that shit either, man. Y'all boy trying to push the shit over there. I mean, but hold on, give him the bird shrugs. Hey, you talking about he ain't do it? He gonna, you gonna take drugs, 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 you? One I just drugs read right, now, right now. Right. Talking to man, you now. On, Samuel, now. I don't know how you read this shit. Yeah. Samuel 18, <laughs> 1, 4. Yeah, I don't know how you twist it. Is that how that you read crazy, it? Samuel man. 18, you know, 1 through 4. Is that how you read it? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Yeah. That is the one. Pull it up. And I mean, they. We got they, you. Hold up, there you go. Nah, bro, we got you already. My dog. We can pull it up. We My dog. Up. Tell me one flesh. He come in one flesh. That means he was deep in there. He was all in the stomach. <laughs> all the way deep there. Yeah, he got Boy, in the stomach. Taking balls. <laughs> what Kevin yeah, Gates oh, say? Down. Kevin Gates say, fucking no, no, don't stop running, bitch, stop running. Yeah. yeah, what Chris Harris <laughs> say? I don't run from it, I run to it. Yeah, he gonna go get, get on that dick. Chris Harris say he don't run from that dick. He get, he run to it. He gonna get on that dick, fading that dick. Oh uh, yeah, but I don't know about the boy there, man. Say, man. Stay away from. Okay, what about the? Conversation? I don't know. I really know Chris Harris like that, man. So, right, so I don't know what, 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 what the talking about. But... Now we talking about the Bible. Since you came yeah. up here taking up for these niggas, and Damn we find right. out they fucking. They ain't fucking. <laughs> Why is why is this man naked? <laughs> Listen, man. Why is he naked? And why are you I giving can... another man your robe? Man, you yeah, this nigga is robeless. He didn't the Come nigga that the, the nigga that dressed in lingerie, man. Nigga, maybe the nigga gave him something to put on. The nigga fuck gave, you gave him a robe. Man, that nigga in that bad nigga that went to Victoria's Secret. That nigga <laughs> trying to spice the night up, bro. <laughs> but you talking about listen, man, you talking about the same people <laughs> who came to America, the walking roses, all the same people came to America, dog, man, and, 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 and 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 clear the land out. Bro, These people you talking about them niggas don't do no shit like that, King. Brother, your book said, bro, nigga, and that bitch is stockings and the lace. That book don't say no shit like that, man. With the yeah, with the uh, the top piece, the sheer. The see through, yeah. That nigga. Them your an if that's the case, that made you ancestors again. No, them your ancestors. You them your ancestors, nigga. You Indian, aren't you? Bro, you Israelite. Yeah. 
You too. Israelites and Indians, not the same thing. Bro. Yes, they are. Come now. Unless you just started in the 1600s. You mean tell me your, your, your bloodline didn't exist before the 1600s? Before a, a Christian came over and named you uh, Indian? You trying to say y'all didn't exist before that? Bro, I'm trying to say we're not the All right, then. And so, so you talking to me, your elders, your ancestors did not deal with this so called no, Bible? No, he asked you. Bro, damn, no, 2041, no. where there is a holy kiss. Yeah, he kissed him and everything, mouth to mm, mouth, all in the mouth, kissing. tongue kissing. And you understand me, man? It is the same. They got a whole Jewish. Well, let me ask you a real question now. Let me ask you a real question. Real talk. I am not be the honest now. Don't ask me. I, I answer. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cool, cool, cool. Quick cool, cool. <laughs> question. You don't got to ask anyone to. No, you ever kissed a man before? Kiss the man. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you don't kiss the man, so you know how to. Hey, come on, wait. You think that man got that? Take this. Why y'all gonna say that, man? Hold on, give me the flow right quick. Go ahead. Hey, oh, uh, is 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 uh is the other Israelite brother here that was just that was just reading? Mm-hmm. I'm right here. Okay, what do you think about this, brother? <laughs> hey, man, you going straight to hell, cat? I don't believe in here. I'm going to make they believe in you. No, no, yeah, I'm going to you gonna see them. Hey, I think bro. somebody might blow or something. I, I think, think, look, something. Check it out. I think that that shit was added by Christians. The question? Did the brother answer the question? I, hey, I think that was added by Christians. It's called Christian interpolation. So the Christians misinterpreted the story. So what really happened? Because happens? what happens is, is if no, 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 no. Well, if, you were what just happens is, is if God, if David, you're reading seeing from, like that, an analogies and poems. It, uh, if so. David, hold on, he picked he picked one of seven different, and he a lot, and this is the Library of Congress. So I'm not even finished. Like. He said he wanted to get to it. I was just showing him my Facebook shit that I showed my friends, you know, people on there. Nah, listen, 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 brother. Now nah, that's okay. I just wanted your uh your take on the verses that was just read. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to know. What, uh, so what Christian interpolation. See, if if that's the case, so you I gotta look at it with in the this Hebrew. Brother that, so you agree with this brother that 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 was an interpolation. And they had, they just, they added that word because they needed, an, it meant another word in Hebrew. What do no, naked mean in Hebrew? I can't, I can't, I can't tell you that. I can't, I can't say that. I can't agree with that or okay, not. Okay, so, so let me ask you white. And, and naked can mean, it depends on the dialect and the time that, that is being spoken in, the time period that is being spoken. Like a lot of the words like cap, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, cap it mean going, talking, snapping on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Today it means lying. So words evolve in different time periods. So, and then not only that, like I said, Christian interpolation, they could have been trying to in, in, um, put out some gay shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the time period, the time, the time that they was going through. You got to remember, they didn't. So, so what you saying at that time, that's what, that's how niggas was getting down. Israelites was getting down. No, I'm saying at that time they were. No, you talk about Christians, man. You need to know about Christians. Brother, okay, so like let's Hebrews. fast forward to this time and these niggas are still doing the same thing that's written in there. So who's still doing that? No, no, no. Don't, now let's take them back to Israel. So, uh, brother, so are you saying that someone tried to like disfame you guys or inserted this in here to like embarrass you guys? Or what are you saying? I, I can't. So, the same, th let me say this now that you now that you speak of it, I mean, they've been doing it forever. They got King James being white and gay. So, um, and I know that not to be true today or have a better speculation to where before when I heard it, that I believed it. Now I've done my own studies and I see it as it's far from the truth. The fact that he's not white and he's black, let me know that other shit could be bullshit just to defame him, just in what, name. What do you say about people today that claim descended of King James? It's a, it's a quite possibility, brother. A lot yeah, of us, a lot of man. us, a lot, you gotta this remember, you, only that don't mean it gay. Hold on. Only the nobles, only the nobles have the money to flee from war or get on ships. These blacks that's in America, 
like if you 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 were, you were um scholar you know that the scottish the jacobites was black people and that they was at war and was being sent over here as prisoners so i mean we don't want to conflate everything together it's different people the israelites came over here at different times you know what i'm saying you got to be realistic bro we all of this, all of this talk about blacks being israelites it's not coming from nowhere bro and blacks being the, the actual black indians that was in america this not coming from nowhere bro Niggas not making this shit up. We ain't, we ain't. Okay, so where's the proof? So, so only thing we can do is go off of the history books. You can't do nothing but refute what's written because ain't nobody making it up. Okay, so that's what we're saying about this case in Samuels with David and, and Saul. I mean, David and Jonathan. With that, okay, with what you just said, that logic, well, that explains the story of Jonathan and David that you said was incorrect. It could be it, you could be you could be dead on. I don't I don't freaking know. But well, what I, I mean, we, know is, we on, see the history I, of the Israelites. I mean, we see God ending the world, and then He created again, and they come back still with these, you know, penitentiary tactics. You know, warriors who get you, off by uh, busting boys. Well, you you got to remember, it's not all of the Israelites don't get destroyed when God destroys the earth and He puts it back together, make it make the earth anew again. That's enough. That's one thing. They the priests. They're gonna always exist all the way from the Atlantean period. So they're gonna always be here. The Atlantean. Right? That's yeah. what he can said. I, can yeah. I? Can I? But anyway, can, re can I read this from the, from Jewish studies? Because this is a, this changes. I mean, this is a little more aggressive coming from that. I mean, this isn't Christian. Yeah, but the Jewish people, they made the same people we talk about in the Bible. Though. Yeah, I tell them. So what they do? I mean, got nothing to do with the so-called Israelite. Yeah, but nah, we Indians, bro, yeah, and you saying we Israelites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that's, so that's, I don't care who it's coming from. It's, it's yeah, but that don't matter, bro, because we black. If we just all say we black, no, it's I'm still not black. some gay ass black niggas. If we say we all Indians, it's still some gay ass Indian niggas. If we, it don't matter what we say we is, bro. Some niggas just gay but in all you're, cultures. You're, you're bro. Bro. Uh, some niggas just manage emotionally attached to some. We're just having a conversation about being cursed. Well, it. They got don't cursed because they all of they did they committed all of the above. The ones that was cursed, the ones that went into slavery. Not all the Israelites went into slavery. Not all Israelites experienced the same things at the same but time. We're just having a conversation about the curse and why they were cursed, right? And, and, and why is it an issue? It's all of the above. It's not just them being gay. It's that they was eating. The only thing that you said was mean? that worshiping other gods. We were just trying to figure out. We're why talking about we were specifically. Cursed. This is what it specifically says. I'm in when did it say that we got kicked out the land from being gay? I thought. Where that God God no, a, no, they committed. They, that's why it was a law against them being gay. Against what? being gay, yeah. bro. They committed all the sins. The, the Israelites committed. They said he said they did worse than the heathens. Hey, time out, time out. Yeah, but they didn't say he did hey, fucking hey, time good. Time out, time out, bro. Y'all can't use but. that word, bro. I keep saying it. Word, yeah. my bad, man. What yeah, word? What word was it? The G okay. word. Y'all can't. Okay. Y'all said it. Nah, they on. They flag us for it. Oh shit, my so. bad. Can I ain't even? I ain't even do. I ain't even fuck you up like that. My bad. All right, you talk about God? Oh, excuse me, Yahweh or the Most High? That's what you talk about. The other word for yo Yahweh or the other word for yeah Yahweh used to be the bitches. He uh he was very aggressive with the hoes. <laughs> yeah, that nigga used to check the whole phone. He said he a jealous guy. <laughs> no, he said he a jealous guy. Yeah, he used to go to the bitch phone and well, y'all boy sick man. Yeah, that nigga that was jealous. That bitch couldn't go outside. She could. He, she had to watch what she put on. Yeah, that nigga that had a cold to the password to the phone. Yeah, he said he's a jealous guy. He put his hands on one of them. Out. Yeah, but you missed on You took that out of context, Bubba. Uh, damn, how I'm, how I'm misreading something. How you, what glasses you got on? <laughs> how you I'm misreading every damn thing. Dude, you you need this. Somebody glasses, tell you. Your man, somebody tell you the probably told you that. I don't know. But that's not what he was talking about. No, he, yeah, he said that. He said that because they was dealing with other gods. That's why he used that. Okay. Israel doing a lot of crazy shit. Don't get me wrong. They committed all, all the sins, bro. Huh? They committed all the sins. Is is there when, somebody I mean, talking? Wait, the is, is there somebody talking in the background, or is somebody's mic real low when other people? Are I, I, I think somebody like, mic real low. Whoever that is talking, we can't hear you.
Yeah, so yeah, man, they they end up through all us in this mess. <laughs> you know that shit. That just that is. I mean, hey, man, listen, man. for the dick to be so good that you will go against God and your religion and <laughs> beliefs and customs. Man, listen, man, you man. Can't man. Now, man. over listen. and over, and not learn from your mistakes. Just keep going. No, back. it's in their blood. <laughs> I mean, it's in your blood. In other case, you the same blood. How? How? Why would you say because. that? Because because your people still here. Everybody wasn't supposed to be here. Got the, wiped out. How the Jews say? I, I'm, you know, like. It's just so aggressive sounding. It's, it's and what it, say? And it comes to pass no when, when, when we had made uh, in the speaking unto Saul, Saul saw that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And Saul took him that day, and would let him go, and would let him go no more home to his father. Father's house. Then Jonathan yeah, the made the king. He made with him. David because he loved him as his own soul. And Jonathan stripped himself of his robe that was upon him and gave it to David. Yeah, ripped and it his like apparel. Hulk Hogan used to rip his. Yeah, I remember Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, said, yeah got, come on, man. Get pussy. Take this, brother. <laughs> well, y'all boys sick, man. Even to his sword. Man, he's talking about his bow. Like that, man, y'all boys still got that. Nigga, fucking Hulk Hogan. Nigga was wearing a girdle. Bro, yeah, we he had, had a girl, his girl and everything. Yeah, and Jonathan that nigga gave his, his gave that his weapons it. unto his lad and said unto him, "Go carry them to the city." And as soon as the lad was gone, David arose out of the place toward the south and fell on his face <laughs> on his face to the ground and bowed down three times. And they face kissed one an ass up. And they kissed one another. Yeah, face down ass up. and wept one with uh, another. Whipped until in David exceeded. Does until he came. Bust? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. Man, y'all boys sick, man. Listen, <laughs> go that's why you two cracking your ass right there. That nigga had on a crotchless girdle <laughs> with the crotch out. <laughs> Say, man. That's it, man. And face that was, down that ass up. Got that boy cursed right now, man. Fast, well, face down ass up, and then he kissed him. And then he fucked him till he, he came in his booty. That's some <laughs> cold shit. Exceeded all over him. Yeah, oh, that means he sprinkled it on him. Bust on that ass. Yeah, he <laughs> came out and bust on that ass. Yeah, he Going didn't peace. climbed in. He bust on his ass. He sprinkled him. Yeah, exceeded <laughs> all over him. told him to go in peace. <laughs> yeah, get on. Get out. Call yeah. over. Yeah, he got on. That walk of shame. <laughs> Bitch, I'm about to wait. For as <laughs> much as we have sworn, both of us, in the name of Hashem, saying Hashem shall be between me and thee and between my seed and thy seed forever, huh? Uh, yeah, nigga. We have kids, man. Talk about the kids. Kids, yeah. boys can't Exceed. have kids. That's yeah. what we're talking about, yeah. Yeah, his kids, his kids gonna always be, you know I mean, gonna always be cool. Man, nigga, dunk dick all his all kids all over his back, what it sound like. Yeah, yeah, all on his, on his ass and thighs. What her son said, he thighed me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he thighed him. <laughs> hey, listen, man. But y'all, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. No, freaky no, no, you head, see, nigga. us Hebrews. Yeah, oh, freaky, freaky, that's the case. Man. No, us. You gotta say we. You can't say y'all. You gotta use you. You, you say you Indian, right? I, I, mean, I feel you, like I feel like the answer. It don't matter how you feel. We talk about what it is. Ancestors face. Yeah, we like are. Right we are talking about what it is. We all You're brought correct. this bullshit. We are talking about it correct. Why is this man got uh, crossing his girdle? <laughs> how, how does somebody get high? High boy and, summer. And he got on the girdle with the pussy cut up. Y'all know the crotch is high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he ripped chaps and shit. Threw his face on the ground, face down, ass yeah, up. Yeah, face down, ass up. And let him back. exceed all over him. What the yeah. fuck? Sprinkle me. Y'all can have that guy. Yeah, y'all got some more. Y'all got some more shit on. And then David went out there, big old boy. He had tattoos on his face and shit. <laughs> Killer nigga. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, the boy with no damn, the boy with no God is a jealous God. I guess he, you know, he was tender dick too, mad because it's yeah, nigga ain't want to let him fuck. Yeah, he blocking, yeah, he blocking the pussy. Yeah, nigga, don't you with that whole ass nigga, huh? Okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, the boy the damn Saul had to put a bag on his head. Saul said, "Man, stay from around here, man." Saul asked his son, "Uh, when he gonna get a girlfriend?" 
Yeah, well, that type of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, why is daddy got to ask him when you going to get married, bro? When you going to get a wife and some kids, bring some grandbabies, bro? What guys sound like, though? What these niggas do now, they find out they bitch cheating. They go kill the kids, the bitch, the mama, thing. and they if they, they, if they was to do that, if they was to do that, then they ask be both of their ass to die. I said, I mean, and most likely 10 generations from them will all be cursed if they was to do some shit like that. When that happened, they made examples out of them, boy. And they wrote about it. It's in that same book. The boy do no shit like that, man. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, boy. Y'all boy <laughs> playing with the most high like that. Y'all made, y'all made Darius think about it. Are you on uh, Bluetooth or something? You super low. Who is that? I don't know. That sound like one of them all men study groups. Or the single, the, the one man debate league. <laughs> me versus me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Dave, what you think about all this, this literature? <clears throat> yeah, man. That's wild shit, man. That's wild shit. I, I, I just. I don't know how niggas be like niggas can read shit and apply that shit to to like themselves and unless they doing that shit, you feel what I'm saying? And they want to throw it on you. Yeah, and then smear that shit all over the place. I'm like, damn, yo, like you know, if you if you were Israelite, that's what's up. But like, cause your peoples was doing that shit, don't mean my peoples was doing that shit. But that's that Pan African shit too, man. They do that shit too, where like, you know, you start pulling on nigga heartstrings, and they want everybody to cry for that shit. So, is people really harping on? Yeah, man. What? Ex- Damn, I want to hear what was being said, but I can't hear. It. Can y'all make out what he's saying? Nah, yeah, nah. Dog is uh, I'm so so. So, dog, so how does it make you feel to know? It make me realize that y'all can't fucking read. Okay, so okay, so do you have another something different? Well, or does it actually say that? Say what? Did he, man, that shit don't say everything no shit that, that is that read. Uh, or do you have a different Bible? No, what I'm saying, no, what I'm saying is you misunderstanding what they're saying. So are that's you, what I'm saying. Okay, no problem with seeing that. Are you agreeing that what was read actually did the Bible actually did say? Nah. So you're saying Brother Shrugs made up words? Hey man, that Shrugs man, I so don't know. If he was to put it on, I the screen, ain't see it on the screen. I ain't see it, but listen, so, I, can, listen no I got my own so Bible. If you to see it on I got the screen. I have some Bible. I ain't, I ain't that. And listen, I don't read so the book. So if you want to see it on the screen, would that change? Would that um, change your mind? No, because it depends on who, who transliterated the Bible. It's the King James Version. Oh, shit. So what you read? Because you told me before that you read from the King James Version. No, no, I didn't. I thought I got one, but I don't really deal with King James. The transliteration is messed up. If you deal with the uh, interlayer Bible, any Jewish so Bible, Hebrew Bible, mean? you'll notice, huh? What do naked mean? I don't know. I, I can't tell you, homes. A man what made a good note from a man. A man said earlier, man, such as the word cap. The way a person used the word now nah, may be different than the way he so used it three years now. You think naked actually meant something other than naked back then, brother? Huh? So do you think naked meant something different back then? Yeah, when well, you look at the etymology, the word it didn't exist during that time of that book. Brother, so we could have meant brother, that. Though. Naked always, it ain't, I ain't never heard another word for naked. Hey, man. Hell, I mean, it's a lot. I know some words you have the same word and might have different meanings, or you might have words that have different meanings in other cultures. But in every culture, naked is naked. Man, every culture don't got the word naked in it, man. They ain't say nothing about no goddamn dick, man. None of that shit, man. I'm saying shit like that is like arm. Like, you go somewhere else, nigga, arm is an arm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a leg is a leg, bro. A toe, a toe. A cap is a cap. You think that goes top of a bottle? So but the way people use it now, it can so be lie, like like my man said earlier. So, 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 how? What did you take from that verse? How would you read it? 
Read it to us properly, brother. I'm on the phone. I don't got, I, I'm not around the book. Let us get your breakdown on what naked means. Like I said, man, it could have meant a plenty. It could have meant a lot of things, King. Okay, help us out. Give us, some, <laughs> give us a few. That's, these people wasn't fucking gay, King. Give us a few of those <laughs> things that it could have no, meant. That's, 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 no problem, that's, that's, brother, Just give us a few of what it could have possibly meant. Without your gun? Without something? So, lacking. so how do you explain the stripping the robe? Because, he, he, remember now, he's a prince. So we have his, his golly garments, you know what I mean? So he, uh, he would have a robe. So how do you explain the girdle? That's something people wear under the robe. A robe and the girdle at the same time? No, yeah. um, that, uh, that's a lingerie. girdle is something wear oh. under the robe. That's lingerie. <laughs> no damn lingerie, man. Oh, you got to, you know how, how you come to bed. Trying to snatch get his hips right. He's trying to get his hips right. He's trying to get his hips Cover up over the top, you know what I'm saying? Long sleeve, like a robe. Man, I ain't no goddamn robe, man. A girl with something he worn under your clothes. All right, throw all that away. What about the face down ass up? He right, 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 right. He, he said praying. three pumps before he, he, said he praying. It all over. He was praying. He praying. Like he praying. He praying it don't hurt. <laughs> man, I'm not fucking with y'all, boy, man. Listen. <laughs> That nigga praying it don't it don't hurt. Hey man, one thing you get, man, did you go to that man that man's son got down temple? That man did what? Didn't you go to his son's temple or some shit like that? That's what nah. he talking about. His son, he went in his son. He no, I'm told the, I'm told the cat. He went to Solomon's temple, didn't he? Nah. Oh my bad. Look how we say he went. My bad. Yeah, well, that's what you get for thinking. You thought the Bible was good for you. Folks, listen, man. If something hey, happened right now. Further, you can say, "Oh God, somebody put a hand on your ass." You can pray before any goddamn body say anything else. <laughs> somebody put a yeah. hand on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all having five drills of safety lessons on what to do if a nigga stick his hand in his ass? Like, what type of shit y'all got going on? What type of culture what happened now? Hebrew Hebrews got? Who told nah, you that? Nah, you nah, a Hebrew. So listen, so you a Hebrew. Y'all ain't know what's so crazy? Because you claim to be a historian in front of all your panel, but you won't tell them the truth to all y'all Hebrews. Brother, I've been telling the truth, brother. That's how we hear on this conversation. And we know that nigga will fade down the ass up. He <laughs> say you keep from, coming he's like he's from the back. Then he let him come on his booty. Yeah, hey, he's real nasty. They real freaking that Bible. I'm going to start using that word, though. I kind of like it. It's low-key, but it's still just pointing across. You know, I'm going to start exceeding on these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to on, see man. it on one of the Yeah, I'm trying to see it on one of the Let me ask a question, though. So you can say all that shit there, but you just, if you use a G word, you yeah, get you strike. Yeah, you can't play out here, you know. You can't play with that that. Thank but you. you can say all all the shit we saying now. Yeah, but I'll get yeah, you can say that, but you can't say the, the G word. Yeah, or the R word, certain shit. You can't even say the the C word for as like cool, cool. You can't even say shit like that. Like, what? Can't even type shit like on Clubhouse. Like it's like like I be writing. You know about us, like just. Nigga, Negro or something like you can't write that. Like it blocks all kind of shit now. The internet's a, a crazy place. Yeah, For the world really, you know. Following this book where niggas exceeding on each other. So, cat, do you, do you, oh, do you believe in a higher being, bro? Oh. No, I'm an atheist. So. What is what is this experience like? I'm not. I'm really want to get atheists. I really. So you believe that you just woke up and you from your mama and and that's how life is for everybody. From the very beginning. That man is an Israelite man. He just be keeping that shit on the low. Do you? Do you... Not find uh, uh, putting being on your God creator limiting to 
that said thing. I don't know if you got a Bible wouldn't that bring, though. Wouldn't that bring it but down? You you but you got a yeah. Bible right beside you. I'm not talking. You got to that you. book quick. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, how you atheist with a Bible? Can you proceed to let me <laughs> get my question? <laughs> boy, y'all some funny people, man. But listen, though, man, I'm going to let y'all boy Bill, man. This game about over. Oh, I'm about to lose all my damn money right quick, man. Y'all boy be easy, man. Big up, Goose Creek. All right, peace. Later. Now, uh, real question: You don't feel that putting that, speaking that limits your God to so being a a, a being a higher being? Like it so, puts so it in my, 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 that, so, you know, so I have a um. I don't. I probably don't believe like that, bro. I believe like, yeah, according to the scripture, but the Most High, nobody's speaking to the Most High Being or essence. Nobody's talking to it or Him, but He has created beings for this physical plane to convey actions for this physical plane. When He say it, there are beings, things in place to make it happen. As he has he spoke, and and his spoken could have been from the very beginning, and we just experiencing what he spoke. But I don't think about I don't think like you know God is, um, uh, I think of him as an essence, uh, entire the entire. Okay, energy. so you're not saying that like when you say being, you're not saying like in the image like a man like. I think like there, is a, said, being, there is a being. being like a man. There is a being like a man, but he, that that you you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, so this is what I feel. I feel the New Testament is a, is a false book, and they stole they stole pieces from the Torah and created Jesus' identity. They they created Jesus' identity. Identity. Now, if pe if people read the scripture. When it comes down to it, the Israelites don't really, really touch on it. But the angel of the Lord is the God of Israel. He's a small G God of Israel. And you can read in the scripture when it says uh, for an inheritance, God divided the sons of earth according to the number of the sons of God, which is Beni Elohim. So that implies, oh, and then it continues and says, Yahweh's portion is his people. Jacob is his lot. So that implies that the El Elyon is the word, the most high, divided the nations according to the numbers of angels. And each angel is a god to each nation. So people like the Muslims believe in Jibril or Gabriel being their little G God or the one that comes and speaks to them. Mikael is written in the book of Daniel that he's the only one that contends for the Israelites. So he's the one, he's the angel of the Lord. That's who's been contending. And the prince of the prince of Israel is Michael, the archangel, or he's the little G God, if you will. He inherits the earth. So my belief hey, bro, is not, what, what, what's going on here, bro? I'm just not getting back. I'm leaving. My belief ain't like God. no God, no what, Israelite type on? shit. He asked yeah, you uh, my belief. He asked you what uh what you believed in. You don't ask if you believed in a higher being. And I asked him because you had dropped out, like, does he not think that that word being would limit his God to that of himself? You know, a man to put, even put that label. So he was crossing down, you know, his Yeah, yeah, my, so, my uh, being, my belief is sort of like what some Indians believe. You know, there are multiple gods, but they worship the Most High God. What Indians Almighty exactly? God. What Indians exactly believe that, brother? I mean, that's just tales of what I've heard. You know, what I'm saying what I've what read. What tribe? What tribe? Uh, shit, I wouldn't know. Cause Indians ain't worship. So, my, so let me say this: my grandmother and them. My my grandmother grandmother my great great grandma is Creek Indian. She um in the newspaper for living up to 105 years old, and they they got her as being a Creek Indian. She's a black woman. Um, 
So they believe like Christians believe that the way my mom and them is today to seeing from belief to belief to belief. They believe in a higher being. They believe in and they they didn't make us go to Christian church or none of that. You know what I'm saying? So what, what, that every, genealogy? What, what was this creek living there, brother? What was this taking place? Pennsylvania. In? Pennsylvania. You had Creek Indians in Pennsylvania? Yeah. How do how did they migrate and make it to Pennsylvania? I, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't I don't um understand that history. What year but what was I this then? Well, she's my mother's mother's mother in the newspaper, so I don't know. It's far back though. What year was the newspaper? I'm asking. That's what I said. I, I can't remember the year the newspaper was, but it was you can't mother. remember the year the newspaper. Was it yeah. the 20th century? It was in the early 1900s. It was in the very early 1900s, I know for a fact. Oh, it was 1902. 1902. And what newspaper was this? Uh, it was in the Pennsylvania newspaper, brother. I don't know. What part of Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania did just have a... Oh, is that what it's called? The Pennsylvania newspaper? That, no, nah, their city is called Pierce. It's named after the founder, which is the... the no problem, um, but what's the name of the newspaper? Oh, I don't remember. So how do you... Where did you get that date from? 1902 was his, I remember it was on the newspaper because my man asked me the same thing. It was a Facebook uh, post that I had made of the article um, Correct. back then. So if you had the article, where did- Hold on, I, I mean, we don't got to guess. I can just go through my archive of the Facebook and bring it Correct. up. Correct, Correct. We can just source it up. And you say in Pennsylvania, they identified as a Creek Indian, right? In 1902. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, was she from? Where was she from? So, like I said, I don't know all of my mom's side history. All I know is that that news when we went to the family reunion, they showed uh, how the founder was a Pearson, and that's the city that he founded, and that the uh, daughter lived all the way to 105 years old. And she was the in the daughter, newspaper for that. So what was the father? The, his name is Pier. He was a. His name is Pearson. Okay. And what was he? So, if if now where I'm at with her on her side, it, it seems as though he was like a Sephardi Jew. Okay. So how did she become? How did a Sephardi Jew become a Creek Indian? No, you talking about him? You said what is he? Correct. So what is the the, the creek so Indian? obviously obviously he must have married one of the the Israelites that was already here as the Indians. Wait, wait, I'm confused. So you said Sephardi Jew married a Hebrew Israelite, correct? That was considered an Indian by the Europeans. Yes. Okay, where what so now? What, now what you asking me to do is speculate because, like I said, my mom's side, I'm not no, really. I'm asking you to give me the the, the true answer. Yeah, that's the I best as I can. Yeah, yeah, that's the I'll best I can it. give it to you. This is how I learn all the information about. This is how I learned about the European uh, Jews and the and the and the Indians that was called Jews. And then I told you, um, some time ago, it's a book, bro. It's called. Can you pull that article up for us, brother? Well, yeah, you got me bouncing now. I'm going all over the place. Yeah, that's why we we just stay on that topic. Yeah, I like that topic a little bit better. The topic of uh, my family? Yeah, the, the newspaper article. Can you pull that? Yeah, hold on. And so you say that somebody married a, a supporting Jew married an Israelite. And I, I'm only basing the Sephardi Pearsons are Sephardic names. So all the way back then, a lot of a lot of the Israelites was kind of like trying to hide their identity, so they anglicized their names. And the Muslims did the same thing. They anglicized their names, so like a lot of our names today, like my name is Murray, and that's Muralidek of Scotland. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway. How did you get that name? That's the dissension from my, my dad's side. Okay, was well, somebody married and changed their name? Damn. Nah, it was, that's the name. That's the, my great 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 grandfather from um, South Carolina had land there during the time that they said it was slavery. 
So that's he didn't get he wasn't a slave. What about the lady, the, the 1902 order? So her, I don't know much about, other than what my mom was saying that she was no, an Indian. No, you gotta share your screen, brother. That's what I was saying. Did you find the article? Oh, hold on, brother. This is we talking about. This is an old ass. Back in the day, um. No problem. No problem. No, just give me one second. I'm not I'm not Ju Junie. Hold on. Hey, y'all, hit the like button if y'all have not. Tap that like button if y'all have not. Um, while he's looking for that, anybody on the panel have something? Hey, do you know the brother Dude from Dimstone? Hey, come on the panel, Dimstone. I never really been, you know, big and digging in the Bible on this shit, but it, this shit is crazy. Hey, I'm the Hebrew brother in the chat, come on the panel, bro. Yeah, hey, I, I am stressed, distressed for the. My brother Jonathan, very pleasant has thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. What? Say that again. You okay? You still back there, brother? You still with us? Do you have headphones on or something? No, hold on. Let me put my headphones on. Uh, this guy left. Oh, you still with us? You talking about me? Somebody was supposed to pull the sword. We're looking for the newspaper article. I, I found it. I found it. This 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 article was in 1971. I'm wrong. Yeah. Can you pull it up? Can we see it? No, yeah, let he's me. He's wrong. He ain't gonna bring that up. <laughs> I mean, you show Facebook, so it ought not be a problem to show up. Can you see it? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, walk us through it. Okay. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Pittsburgh Press, uh, October 31st, 1971. First 90 years, her hardest. Woman very well at 103. Miss Blakely's mother was a Black Creek Indian who lived 110 years. She was born into slavery. Black Creek members remember uh, miss blakely remembers her mother telling of being beaten for not picking enough cotton of the slave children having to eat with their fingers from a trough boom it's a black lady you see it What year was she enslaved again? She just saying she remember her mom telling her that that she was born into slavery. It don't say a year or nothing like that. She, but well, this is a uh, 1971. She's 103. So let's shave what 75 years off or or more, 80, 80, 90 years off. She's saying she remember her mom telling her. Right on, right on. Servant Rob, how can I help you? What up, man? What up, man? 
Hey, right, bro, what's up? What you got for us? We ain't on that bullshit tonight. Be cruising through the city at H time. Good law, man. What up, man? I got the munchies. I'm over here smacking on hot tamales. Yeah, I got the munchies. I'm eating the shit out there. I done ran through a whole box. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up? What you got for us? Nah, oh, man, I'm back, man. Have a single mile, oh, nah, man. Listen, listen to me, homie. We ain't here to play play no games today. Upgraded my staff, man. So that's what you came up here for to play games. You go find your little boy to play with. We're gonna holler at you. Yeah, we ain't on none of that stupid shit tonight. Oh, y'all be serious tonight. It's time to get real. We ain't joking. <laughs> right. One o'clock in the morning, and you know, then jacked off and energized and took another bump. Anybody got time to play with you, nigga? Yeah. Hey, but the book the book I was trying to find to tell you, you said you wanted to mess with the heat. I ain't got to bring it up. I'm just going to tell you the title of the book. You you can you can you can actually get a PDF on it. Um, it's called The Original History of Ancient America Founded Upon the Ruins of Antiquity. The hey, hold, identity, on, hold on. Let me ask you this here. So you say you a Jew. So if, if your grandma creeps, then who, who where is you? How, did, how are you a Jew by blood? What you first of all you talking I'm about listening. my grandmother you talking about my great my great 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 grandma no problem it's not what yeah. I asked you though now my dad who my people is is way 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 different than that I gave you um I told you you can look us up. We Murray's in South Carolina. My grandfather was What'd born in 1868. Okay. And what was he? What was he, brother? So, I'm like I said, I'm only assuming, just like the Pearsons, because of the surnames, is that they also, the my dad and them side, are... Sephardi Jews. How did you get the surname? Through my that's my great great grand great 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 grandfather's name. Four grandfathers, yeah. four fathers, four fathers back name. So who was that's, the first who brought the Mary line to America? Well, I don't know. Right now, me and my brother is getting together this bread to get this uh the company of um ancestry.com. To look at the, find him but we got everybody down to my great 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 grandfather but who got over here first whoever it was the kids can read write they always own they land except my the my uh great great grandfather the one who left he left his land and got married to somebody her name was mary uh, the, the people say she was an indian woman but um, she connected actually to the Royales and, and Ancestry.com. She's connected to the Royales and the uh, so I don't know. But like I said, after so you reading, don't know if he's a forty. You just know that some supported people had their last name. Well, I'm like I said, he had money. The Sephardi Jews came with money from selling their land. Right, but In do fact, you have anything that say he's a Sephardi Jew? Other than his name, the name that he has. Yeah, That's people a, have a, a lot of names. Nah, know? this well, whatever the case is, four great great group. My father's 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 father is a Murray. That's the nigga with the money. And what year is this? Well, my great grandfather, my great great grandfather was born in uh 1868, brother. So I don't know. I mean, that's not that's never been that important to me. Just to find about, I'm just trying to find out who my, who the first persons over here, who who was the ones that got over here. Now, I, 
Now, my studies led me to a several different places. But when you look them up, the pictures that they have is white people. But the descriptions that they be having, it don't be white people. Like my the picture of my great grandfather, they said that he was a. So you have um, a you have a description saying, where, yeah, where like my one career. year, yeah, one year in my in my great grandfather's um, genealogy, it got him as being a, a mulatto, and then in 1920, it got him being as uh, being black. But he had his wife while he was mulatto. It had his wife as being black, and he had the kids as being mulatto. So yeah, then, by 1920, the William Murray, by night, uh, yeah, that, I looked at that too. But um, yeah. you can't look at it with so so coming over here, they changed their names, right? So what I did is I went back to what original names like we got a, a, a Irish and a Scottish um, emblem for our uh, coat of arms. It's both they on both sides. And we got the um, Bohemian or something like that. One uh, flag on there is three flags. And it's got a lion, the rampant lion on both sides. And the dude with a shofar blowing a shofar in the middle. So that's our, that's been something that's been passed down from generation to generation to generation to generation. And they don't do nothing but just keep trying to make it look sweeter. Whoever, whoever overseeing that in my family, because we have a family reunion. We, me and my brothers and sisters ain't been to none but one, and, when, and that's when they came to Detroit. But they have them all the time. So they they are a big family. Own two churches, two big churches, one in Florida, one in Atlanta. Um, so they they somebodies. We just we just the ones that left uh so he went from South Carolina, the the great the great grandfather stayed and maintained the land there, and then he went from South Carolina to uh an Indian reservation in Georgia and then went from another that Indian reservation to another one in Alabama and from Alabama what's the came, name of the reservations oh, let me look it up right quick Ancestry, hold on. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, brother. I'm trying to open up my um, ancestry.com. Oh damn! Um, is it a man to be on the I didn't renew my subscription, huh? I said just to be honest with you, you doing a bad job. I'm doing a bad job. I mean, I'm just answering questions about my family. What what job am I doing? But here's the deal, bro. I, um. I didn't renew my ancestry uh, subscription. So it won't let me get my family tree down.
but I am able to see uh have it as it says uh county county of Brooks in the state of Georgia 1880 enumerated on the 13th day 1880 in your You say that again, bro. Yeah, I can't get my um <laughs> I can't get my entire ancestry uh link because it's telling me to subscribe and I don't want to pay that right now. Nah, man, the family ain't helping me. We had the um I'm the one that was paying for it. So I just said, forget that. My brother wasn't interested no more. After we couldn't find my the one who got us over here, he just good with that. But I needed to know who who got us over here. And the the first thing I asked is how did this nigga already have bread to get, get land when he first came here? And then the next thing I looked at is when he was, I think you said. 12 he already knew like it said yes know how to read like when you doing the checks say yes know how to read but when he went to georgia he is the, the family said he left his his dad said he went to georgia and he became a turpentine a turpentine something 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 that had to do with getting stripping turpentine off a tree or something like that and he um and he said that he owned his own land his, the son owned his land but then by the time he got to like 1920 or 1920 or something, it was saying he rented. So something happened to where now he rented. But all of that time, all of the years he was owning land, owning, owning, owning land. So we, we say slavery stopped in like 1866, according to the narrative. That nigga was born in 68 in Sumter, South Carolina. His mama died at childbirth. His dad had, like it said, like two lots. So because on the Ancestry.com, it has like everything, like all of the information that came from the state, from the city. Um archive they they went through and they picked all of that stuff like you know check this out is this him we go and check it out uh life insurance policy like it was a couple of different things but my whole my whole understanding i'm like how did they if you know what i'm saying this this reformation but then so first that's what i asked i said why is he already got how did they already got bread so fast you know what i'm saying coming out of slavery so how do they already have money and how is he already educated coming out of slavery just a couple Brother of years Murray's ago. coming out of south carolina do you have any connection or have you ever ran across the name dreyer i guess is how you spell it d-r-e-h-e-r -E -E nope i came across somebody named kroger i came across somebody named Barney. I came across Smiths. Atlanta. I tried to give you uh, Alley Hoop, but uh, apparently it missed. What, what, what you talking about, brother? <laughs> now, what I'm saying, you you in the wrong channel. You in the wrong place trying to talk about trying to talk about this man like honestly bro I, I i ain't gonna lie to you i tried to tear your um pyramid down but honestly that's not nowhere near here okay i i ain't said nothing about a pyramid bro but you know what it is you know what it is <laughs> that's the back side bro the front side is 
my whole my whole theory is yeah yeah say your theory Based off the information, so no one over here actually lived in it. Say that again, brother. No, no, you could lay. I'm laying down. Man. I, I have no. <laughs> So, I mean, if you want me to go back to proving that the Indians are the Israelites in America, we can do that. I don't have no problem with it. <laughs> I got my information up. Okay, so you got the screen share. Hey, bro, I don't know what's wrong with your mic, but we can't hear you, bro. We cannot hear nothing you're saying. Okay. Man, I'm really about to hop out to this hole, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I just made it back to the spot. Um, Yeah, bro. Check it out. Tomorrow, man, we got a lecture. Tomorrow we're gonna be running it back. So if y'all come to fuck with it for those who ain't see it, come tap in with us tomorrow, 7 p.m. I'm probably finna go and hop out this old man. I think I think that's enough for one day. We'll be on four hours. Yeah, hey, I'm probably finna get out of here. Hey, I appreciate you, brother. You always I, got, you, said you always got the, the, the heat with the info. Just check into that that uh that Mongol that Mongolian. Yeah, I'm like, cool. I'm I'm not a I'm not a Mongolian, so plus I heard they came out the Psalms of Solomon. Yeah, you they the people who they said the people who they said are Mongolians are not the same people today, bro. The, they was black people. They came. Yeah, but Mongolians those people came here. I'm coming from the people that was already here when the Mongolians came, no matter what color they were. So that's what I'm saying. So your people come from the west or the east of America? We come from southeast. Southeast. Like Florida. Alabama, Georgia area. Which even goes, you know, will fit your narrative of America being underwater except for east of the Mississippi. So we're still here. Yeah, I'm not knocking that. I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. I'm not mad at that. You know, like I said, all I'm talking about is who, what my people did. Your people could have already been here, Whatever right? So, was, so, so man. you couldn't, but you can't. You don't have nothing only they say your family was Sephardic Jew. You're I'm just a, guesstimating by a name from a name. The name, the money, the the, the where money, they came. The money got to do with anything. They were well, people had money. Well, well, yeah, because the when I look when the Sephardi, say? hold on, like watch this. When I look when the Sephardi Jews came to South Carolina, um, when they, did the Sephardi Jews come to South Carolina, bro? Like seventeen hundreds, like seventeen forties or whatever. No, they came in um sixteen um eighty nine. That's one. That's one. Eighty eight. That's, that's one section. But then them we talking it's about no one section. The first migration, bro. They didn't they, get the plantation several, act until 1740 is when they got the plantation act. Talking about South Carolina history, I ain't, I'm not talking about nothing else. Okay, okay, my South man, my Carolina, man. 1780. I mean, 1680. Uh, they had just got the port in 1670. Correct. Now, who are, now these these Jews, right? Mm -hmm. That came out of Spain, right? No, those Jews you particularly see? didn't come out of Spain. What what's the but Sephardi Jews come from Spain. They descend from the line of Judah. Correct, Sarai. but those that that the ones you talking about coming to South Carolina are not coming directly from Spain, brother. Where, where they come from? I would like to know. You supposed to know you the you supposed to know you the you the uh, Hebrew, right? Yeah, I'm learning. You got everything that I'm everything right, that I'm well, telling they you. They didn't leave. They came through the um, uh, Edicts and Nantes, brother. That's so you talk about Huguenots. Correct. They came with the expansion but, of the Huguenots. But Murray, Murray, 
our 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 crest is a Irish and Scottish crest. It's not a French crest. Okay, so so Irish and, and French were Sephardic Jews. Oh, the Irish yeah. were Sephardic Jews. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you just told me the Sephardic came the, from they, Spain because that's what the words just mean, right? They say well, Sephardic came from well, Spain. They, though. Well, listen, listen. The Sephardic Jews. But did you just but, tell me that they were kicked out of Spain in 1492? Okay. Right. They came a lot. They were kicked but out. Brother, the you Moors, just told me that they, these they people were, were the, you said the Sephardi Jews came from Spain. And now you're saying it came from Ireland. So which one is it? No, what I'm saying is, yeah, they were. They, so the, the, the Jews. Take your time, brother. It's okay. This, bro. Right. I know because I understand because you're missing. I'm not giving you enough information. So the Jews had already had people in Ireland, in Britain. And what time frame is this? All the way from the 1100s. We talking about from the time of Brutus. Brutus is a, is a son of Zara Judah. We talking about people. Zara Judah. Yeah, we talking I about the letter J didn't come into the 16th century. We talking English, brother. So what was his name? What was his real name then? His name. They only got him down as Zara, Z A R A H. So they made but him up Judah, later. Judah is because he was a twin of Perez. Perez is the son. The Perez line is two twins. It's a, it's a story about it. It's called the Crimson String. Yeah, brother. Every nation has this story of these two twins. Right. So it's, the, so it's this, fake. This what you're saying, happen. right? So here, no, made up shit. Because it's historical. These, these are actually so, in books. Made up shit. Yeah. You well, just told me you don't know his real name in, his, in, the, in the language he speak. That ain't what his mama called him. Who, who are you talking about? What are you talking about when I said I don't know his you real name? You just said his brother, you don't know his real name. Who? I said Jay's who created, so we know his name wouldn't have been Judah. So what did his mama call him? Oh, his, history you, made him up as. Yeah, we well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. His name is Zara Yehuda then. Yehuda Zara. So Zara is a Jew, uh, is a Jewish word, a Hebrew word. Zara. Is that yeah. your final answer? Yeah. That's what does it mean? Answer. I'm not sure, but the Ra at the end allows you to know it's Phoenician or Hebrew, which is both of the same language, basically. The Ra yeah. on the end, like Om and Ra? Yeah. So the, the Egyptian? So the, that's, that's the trick Egyptian question. Hold on, that's, Phoenician or Hebrew, brother? I mean, you got uh, me all over the place now. So this, this is the thing. Zara, Judah, lived in Egypt. The whole family went to Egypt. Before, but they they left Egypt before, um, they were during the time Joseph was in power because of the beef between them. It's, it's wars that they had that's actually written in history. So they left, and and they went on and established like Troy and the Celtics and you know Scandinavia and all of that type Malaysia, Malaysia. All right, brother. Um, I appreciate the information, but yeah, I had enough for the night, man. I'm gonna go ahead on and close out for the night, man. Appreciate everybody that came through, pulled up on the panel. Appreciate everybody in the chat. Hope y'all come through, see us tomorrow. If y'all haven't watched the lecture last week, come through tomorrow, see us, man. And uh, we're going to go in 7 o'clock Central Time tomorrow, man. That's my time. I'm finna finish eating. I have, uh, I, didn't, I put it in a bowl, too. So I got rice hey. and gravy, brown gravy. This ain't that light-skinned gravy. Um, mm. Smothered over steak. Uh, then I have oh, candy yams, my favorite. And I, I got a cornbread and crunched it up in there so it's all thick when you chop it up with the rice and the gravy and the meat chopped in with it. So I'm about to finish my meal and um probably study for 30 minutes, man, and shower and take my ass to sleep. So, with that being said, y'all be cool like y'all be cool, man. Now, nah, Geechee ain't dry, man. <laughs> this the real deal. It's 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 uh smothered steak. Let me say that then it's smothered, so it's tender, and you just hit it with the fork, and it just split right apart. But y'all be cool, like y'all be cool. I right, miss Key to B. You be cool, like you. Hey y'all, I'm gone.